Let's get this going.
Thanks, Fox, for the follow. When she was a kid, Luna aspired. Yeah, I'm not watching that 15 minute video. Thanks, Jeff. Ah! So turn that shit up. I should get to my computer and get the night started. Let's fix the microphone. La 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 la. Okay. Um, someone let me know if the mic is getting any better. Ah, uh, hey Kevin. Thanks for the follow, bud. Much better. Okay, sweet. I have this thing fucking maxed out now, so we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> all good, all good. All right, so I've locked all the windows, well, closed and locked all the windows. Um, so now that all the scary shit's gonna start going on, so here goes nothing. Um, I don't know if anyone's ever seen this game before, but basically we're like doing crime watch stuff. Oh, and yeah. I need to read that email and check out those bolos. I don't need to check out the bolos. I've seen enough streams of this fucking game. Uh, so we basically have all these tools at our disposal to kind of find people and whatnot. Different systems. Uh, what am I missing? Okay, I get that. Get the root kit. Police record would be nice. Okay, and I don't see any Tanner out there. Flash, flash, flash. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Oh, wrong button. How the hell do I get out of the fucking screen? Shit. Well, that's a button I don't know. <laughs> Fuck. Ah. Uh... Well, this is going to get really weird quick. Enter. Escape gets me the pause. Left click does nothing. Right click doesn't do anything. I'll be stuck watching the cameras forever. Uh, I know spacebar does the flash of the light. I'm going to go across the keyboard. I guess I'll find something. God fucking damn it. Delete? Like, how the fuck? <laughs> damn. Oh, down button. There we go. Okay, I fucking got this shit. Alright, report number one. We are Kenneth Langley. Uh, friends with Ken, we regularly go out to the bar together to get drinks. Ken still thinks he can hold his own against the college kids. This sounds familiar. The stop by to get hammered, but he definitely can't. His amazing record of zero wins and 17 losses against these kids somehow has still not taught him his lesson. The other night, Ken was in full form, totally blackout drunk and spewing nonsense about his ex. I tried to get a ride for him so he'd get him home safe. I saw the car pull up, brought Ken to the car, said bye, and returned to the bar. Maybe 20 minutes later, I went back outside to smoke and hear a couple people describing someone that attacked these two girls. The description matched up to what Ken looks like. I hope that horny motherfucker didn't do something stupid on his way out. <clears throat> okay. So we'll start off getting this guy's uh, his identification down because you have to have the ID. So we got the age. We've got an exact height. Uh, hit the wrong button. 6'6". Six, six. Weight. 
uh, is unknown, gender is male, hair color brown, eye color is gray. Let's see, we need Kenneth Langley. All right, here he is. Sketchy motherfucker. Uh, check out his social account. Copy that, because I hate typing. And uh, we'll do police records as well. Ah, he's in a police report. 25-year-old Kenneth Langley was apprehended in the Rocks North Mickey's. Langley was drunk and disorderly and suspected to be under the influence of narcotics. Police were dispatched after calls were made claiming that Langley was verbally and physically harassing patrons and workers at the restaurant. Uh, that's interesting. Toss it in evidence for now. Um, his only post on social media is him, a uh, picture I took while falling over at the bar. You know it was a good night, bars, drunk, beer. That's... What the fuck was that? I definitely just fucking heard something. Okay. Let's go check the house. Okay. Locked. So yeah, by the way, anyone that hates home invasion, this game is not for you. Why I'm playing it, I have no fucking idea. Windows locked. Jesus Christ. I'm not even done with one report yet, I'm already fucking freaking out. Uh, I, that was locked. It looked weird. Mmm. -hmm. Mr. Body Massage Machine, go. Uh, that's locked. All right, cool. So, kidnapper hasn't tried to get in yet because all the lights are on. Well, let me check the bathroom. Okay, no windows, but check for the lights. All lights are on, windows are locked. You know what? I'm gonna keep the closet door open just so I know if it closes. That means Tanner's probably fucking hiding in there. Creepy bastard. Anywho, uh, let's go ahead. We had the... That's done. Let's check his debit card account. What do we got? What has he purchased? I bet you it's all bars and shit. Yep. Rum and cola. Fifteen of them. <laughs> Light beer. Okay. Whiskey sours. Spiced rum. Beer pitchers. Vodka. So, yeah, the dude's definitely a fucking drunk. That's why I watch people play Ugh, Damn it. Internet went out again. Fuck. I need to go oh. reset the router in the backroom closet. No. Oh, God damn it. So this part sucks because when it's out, I click it to fix it. And it's... There we go. So I'm moving my mouse right now, but I cannot move. Um... It's kind of one of the quote-unquote features of the game where you have to wait for the light to turn back on, and now I can move. So that was terrifying. Please don't be in here. All right. All the lights seem... Wow. Let me finish the first fucking report. <laughs> because I have to, there's a quota you have to fill. So anywho, let's get the root kit going. Do, 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 do. Come on. What did I say? Oh, shit. Nope. Wrong. Okay. My bad. You gotta do the same DB first. And you get your ID number and toss it in there. That was my mistake. Uh, Alright, here we go. Got it. Directions to Mick and Margie's. They can't even fucking spell. Should I text her? How to know if you're an alcoholic? Mickey's menu. Can you recover memories from when you black out? Is it better to oh hold on? But I drink beer or liquor. Diets that don't require quitting drinking. Where am I? <laughs> Find Miff One. Synonym for embarrassed. What is my raising sign? Oh, this dude's fucking hammered all the time. Let's picture some girl. Uh, okay, that's a dance club. Some beer there. Uh, this guy can't take pictures to save his life. Text convos. Andy. I gotta tell you, you were a mess last night. I tried to get the door, stuff in bed. I just woke up. I'm so sorry, man. What the hell did you go for a walk? Please, 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 
yourself. Your neighbors called the cops you last night. They had to escort you home because you were passed out. And I just woke up and I was <laughs> he gets drunk quite often. Uh, da, 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 da. So he's just a drunkard. How drunk are you? Yes. <laughs> what is this, me? How drunk are you? Yes. Please don't come over and go to bed. You okay? Left some pretty belligerent messages on my phone last night. You have to hone on the drinking. Like, you're almost 40 for Christ's sake. You can't think you're 21 anymore. At the very least, please stop drunk dialing me. It's pissing my boyfriend off. Please really stop all the shit I put you through. I just read something. guy. People care about what So he seems like he feels bad about it. It was fun meeting you last night. Hope you got home all right. Uh, someone from the bar, Stu. He's like, hey man, I'm already just hella hungover. So I mean, the dude's a drunk, but oh, I don't know. I think this the Jess and smiley face, like trying to come over, leaving shit on the phone. Like it's it's suspect, I guess. So, we'll put it in, fax it through, see if it goes up by one. Fuck! Alright, so that was wrong. <laughs> and a car just drove by. Alright, let me at least get Michael King set up here. Um, he's a co-worker of mine. He's, well, an asshole. We work in insurance. He's in some deep shit, it seems. Rumor has it that he was pretty smashed right at the casino. Probably high as well. His wife was drunk as well, though nowhere near as drunk as he was. He fumbled for his keys, and his wife repeatedly told him not to drive and snatched them from him. To which he reacted furiously. I heard he was recorded, recorded attacking his wife in his car until a security guard came by and ripped him out of the car and restrained him. So the office have claimed to have seen the video. I personally haven't, but they say it's pretty bad. I heard Mike talking on the phone, ordering someone to take the video down after his post on the internet. Regardless if the rumor is actually true, if a video gets out that looks like he assaulted his wife, whether it happened or not, the guy's fucked. The way these social media clips gain traction is insane these days, guilty till proven innocent. I like to say, fortunately for him, he's rich and has his dad's money to fund him in preventing this potential smear campaign from ruining his life. Well, okay. So he's 30 to, 35 to 45. Mm -hmm. He's 5 foot 6. Male. Black hair. Blue eyes. Michael King. I don't see a Michael King on here at all. Did I fuck something up? Male, 35 to 45, 5 foot 6, unknown weight, black hair, blue eyes. I get Mark Graham or Jacob Lesping. That's weird. Alright, let's look him up in here. Michael King. I had a good time at the water hole and saw some cultural practices. It's a good day to be at the casino. Come play a few games with me. This dude says, this says he's 34. Okay. Why don't we drop it down to 30 and see what we find. There he is. Alright, so they fucked up the age on me. That's cute. <clears throat> Let's check out his debit card. Let's check out police records. No police records. Clear this out. We'll get that ID number. He bought a baseball bat and electrical tape. Uh, alright. A little sus. Hold on to that. And we'll grab here and we'll go into the root kit. Casino, where to hit a person to not leave marks? Oh, oh boy. I have a fetish for beating up women. <laughs> How to stop a video from spreading online? How to bribe admins to take down my video? Why do I love beating up women? Um, well, that's fucking strange. I'm gonna put that one in there. Pictures. Uh, there's some marks on that woman's hands. That's odd. Okay. There's the casino. Text convos with dad. Maybe I've got myself into a sticky situation. Can I borrow one of your lawyers? What did you do this time? Is it related to Emma? I'll call you and explain. Dad, can I borrow some money? You know that the video they took, they're trying to take it down and I need to pay up. Lawyer, we should set up a meeting for tomorrow. We need to act fast while the videos were posted. Meet at the Bowie Magic in 20. I never knew they opened this early. I'll be there in 20. Michael, regarding the video being reposted, I've contacted Emma with the ability to remove it. He wants a lot of money for it. Your call. Wife. 
Meet me at the Russian Family Pharmacy. I have some things planned. Some friends. It's important. Yes, I need you to drive me to the casino. I'm high as fuck right now. You really shouldn't gamble while intoxicated. Remember last time? Cut the bullshit. I'll beat you to death once I get a hold of you. Pick me up right now. Well, okay. That's getting faxed, and that's going to be a correct report. Yeah, that stayed at one. So that dude's. Yeah, I mean, I could have used this as well. That dude's fucked. Um. Time for Jason Flo Actually, hold on, hold on. I- Oh! <gasps> shit! Shit! Shit, 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 shit! Lights went fucking off! No! Come on! Fuck. Fuck. Oh boy. So when lights goes off, that usually means that the kidnapper is near. And I did not hear the click of that light going off. Oh, this is not good. He's probably in one of these rooms. Hold on, I gotta turn the fucking light on first. Alright, that was locked. Okay. Come on, fucking bitch. Oh, come on. Right, it was definitely locked, but I just did it again. Anyways, I left that door open for the server room. That's fine. Oh. For a second, I thought he was on the other side of the window. He was not, and it was also locked. Let's turn the light on. Holy fucking shit. Alright, so that was terrifying. Um, Tanner wasn't peeking around the corner, so that's cool. Alright. I think I just got lucky with that. Oh, I was watching a horror movie in my home. Uh, when I heard screaming coming from the house over, I paused the movie and looked out my window to try and see what was going on on at Jason's house. Let me turn the volume up, by the way, so I can actually hear those little noise cues. He collects the cars in front of his home in his driveway. The screaming had stopped, so I chalked up his crazy party into something and continued to watch my movie. A few minutes later, the screams come back, but much louder this time, not playful in the slightest. More like something from a slash horror film, similar to the one I was watching. I could swear they weren't coming from my speakers, but rather from his house. Anyway, when I looked out the window again, I saw some red substance slide across the inside of his living room window. I was close to calling the police a few months later, so I went calmly leave the house, enter their cars, and nothing happened inside. I'm sure if I was just scared from the movie I was watching and drew a rash conclusion that something someone was having in the store, if I was partial witness to something terrible. Well, that's interesting. So, Mr. Jason Floyd, we know he's male. We don't know his age, so we'll have to drop down to unknown. Height is unknown. Oops. Weight's unknown. He's got gray hair blue eyes. Jason Floyd. There he is. He looks like one of those guys. Jason Floyd. Just got very cold in my house. Oh, never try to act and eat at the same time. You end up with ketchup on everything. <laughs> I like the first edit and funny enough, that ketchup that I splattered from the shoot the other day looks like blood. Who knew you can make some cheap blood effects with some free supplies from your local fast food joint? LOL. So, that's facing that direction, in terms of social. No police record. Cindy's Burgers, he bought the number four with extra ketchup. Okay. And you know what? Just for S's and G's, let's go check the phone. But I feel like this guy's probably going to be innocent. So this is probably a shred report. Because I found zero out of two evidence pieces. Fuck you, owl. Search history. How to pronounce imbecile, stain removing techniques, anger management therapy techniques. Alright, that's strange. Pictures, acting, acting, acting. Alright, nothing bad there. Text combos with Dave. Good time tonight. He's swinging it. Anne's gonna be late though, so no rush. Cool, cool. See you then. Remember that we moved up tomorrow. We open next week's need you these early. Gotcha. When we're running Act 2. It's just you and Anne going at each other. Still got some re ancient ac accents slipping on the intense parts of the scene. Yeah, there's not enough evidence here. I'm going to shred him. That should say one out of five. Cool. Now there's one more report we can do to go to bed early. We have an unknown name. I went out for my morning jog and saw the neighbor a few doors down stuffing something into the trash can. He paused when I jogged past him and muttered something under his breath. There were strange yellow stains on his clothes. He smelled terrible. On my way back home, the trash can smelled like ammonia or some kind of strong chemical. All right, male, 50 to 60. 
Uh-huh. Height, six feet tall. Weight is exactly 220, so I could do 220, uh, 200 to 225. Hair color, bald. Eyes are gray. Hopefully it's just one response. John Hodges is 54. Six foot two, it's close enough. 202 pounds. Gray and bald. Yeah, it's just probably going to be him. No aliases. John oop, Hodges. <clears throat> That's definitely him. So in hunting lessons, if you want to sign up, give me a message, shoot you the details. <laughs> Whatever can be hunted is meant to be hunted, no exceptions. That's sketchy. Honestly, I shouldn't even be social media. I don't need no one knowing what I'm doing and what I'm at, except for me. The less people I have watching over me, the better. Y'all could learn a thing or two about that. Everything should be out in the open. So people living in big cities don't realize that we do just like I've been thinking about hunting some different game lately, switching up my variety, been improving my hunting technique recently. Got some more trophies to make, so it's it's definitely sketchy. Let's check out his debit card. Uh, glass jars, bags of beef jerky and whiskey. Eh. Uh, got a hunting rifle, some ammo, knife, camouflage parka. So, I mean, it's, he's a hunter, so that's nothing out of the ordinary. Chemical supply, though. And bombing fluid, ammonia, and a respirator mask. I mean, again, he's making trophies, not super out of the ordinary. Okay. Let's check that police record. Ah, law enforcement received a report of a man in the woods with a hunting rifle. Officers approached John Hodges and questioned him about what he was doing. Hodges stated that he was hunting deer and rabbits for food. The officers let him know that he was dangerously close to a residential area. And at the time of the officers approaching Hodges, he was facing towards the residential area with his rifle drawn. The officers then searched his vehicle, only finding jars filled with formaldehyde. There is somebody outside. Oh my god. I just fucking heard that. Fuck. Oh god. Alright, that window's closed, closed. Uh fuck. Oh Motherfucker! He was at the window! I fucking caught him. I fu okay, so that's a that's a visual oh, I thought I turned the light on, fuck. You have to hit it twice. Alright, I'm learning that now. Window's locked. That motherfucker. So when I hear the, the fucking grass, that's him fucking getting close. Alright. So I'm now learning. <laughs> Five Nights is pretty on steroids. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. That's locked. Alright. So we're good. Caught the kidnapper is not going to come out and get us, at least for now. We're good for a bit. He's not at these other windows. But we would have died right there if I didn't get up. So I'm glad I did that. Okay, where were we? Police report. Yeah, fuck, did I? Oh, come on! Oh. God fucking damn it. Left click? Yeah, left click. Alright. So, normally, the character says, Oh, the internet went down. But I wasn't near the desk, so I'm assuming that's why it went down. And she didn't see anything. It's back up now. I don't have to worry about checking everything right now. I think I'm going to be okay. Unless, of course, I get jump scared right here, which I didn't. Cool. Let me get this done. I'm going to put the report, the, yeah, this was definitely sketchy. Um, that was a knock at the window. Alright, no one's there. I'm just going to get this done. Come on. So close. To the oh, it's a two Cool. Search history. Best way to preserve a body part. A traceable weapon for sale. Uh, wow. Hunting accidents. What are the most common hunting accidents? Hunt 
Hunting grounds near me. How often are people mistaken as animals during hunting? Can human meat be consumed? Bro, are you serious? Alright, yeah, this dude's definitely fucked. Alright, that's fine. Hunting. Fine. I mean, that's a brain that's a little sketchy. Fire number four. Do you have any new specimens? Anything interesting? Yeah, I got something new. I got the city boys out in the woods that we had to give him a body shot, but his brain is intact. No! I was so close. I was right there. I survived night one. I wanted to get that last one done, but we survived night one. We go shut and lock all the windows again, and we'll get to work. All right. Oh, Jesus. I was really worried there because I wasn't able to do one last check. Usually it's that last check before you go to bed that's important. And, uh, yeah, alright. So, first night, cool. Survived. Too bad that's pretty much the, <laughs> the easy part. It just gets worse and worse as we go. Alright, that's locked. Uh, okay, that was locked. All right, cool. Let's get to it. All right. Numero uno. So at about 3.30 today, I saw someone in Finneman's jewelry outlet that looked like my old friend from high school, Teresa Hayes. I wanted to say hi, but I saw she was busy talking to one of the people there. She's trying on a big, fancy-looking ring, diamonds in the band, the whole nine yards. Anyway, I overheard her saying that the ring was too small, and the salesman went into the back to get a ring sizer. I could have sworn I saw Teresa swap the ring with another one she had on her. When the saleswoman came back with a sizer, she played along, but ended up leaving without buying anything. I saw the woman who worked there put away what I think was the fake ring. I walked it after Teresa to talk. We stood outside the store for about five minutes, then went our own ways. Surely, if you just stole something from a store, you couldn't just wait around the scene of the crime to get caught, right? And I definitely just heard something. Definitely just fucking heard something. Oh, please, no. Alright, cool. So we're gonna give it a quick shot. Make sure nothing sketchy is going on. Okay. So, Teresa, uh, age unknown, height unknown, weight unknown, gender female, hair color, red, eyes are brown. Teresa Hayes. There she is. Teresa Hayes. Do, 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 do. Anyway, to the movie theater, see some of those half the cinematic mysteries have heard it out to be. Uh, should I make Tex Mex Snyder bake some salmon? Uh, mean to buy me a diamond. It just means he's bad with money. If man works hard, save me. Alright, so she mentions the diamond there, but, eh. Not feeling it. Check the police records as well. Ooh. She's running to a report of shoplifting. Suspect was caught in security camera hiding redeemable gift cards, a small bottle of gin in her handbag for attempts to leave the supermarket. She was intercepted by security due to the shoplifting of alcohol by a marriage. She was remaining. Yeah, okay. Alright, so she's got a history for it. Okay, it's the um, Uber trip, three dollar trip. So Gruber must be Uber. Yep. So okay, so that's just the movies and shit, so that's nothing crazy. Uh let's go check her phone. Try to find another piece of evidence. Don't be a twofer, please. I'm still not great with this rootkit, fuck. Alright, cool. Search history. So, the influencer, the influencer, search for the font, the sponsorship, influencer, movie, 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 playlist, dance, playlist, and monopoly video. Blood diamonds, diamonds are intrinsically worthless, quote. Okay. Pictures. Movie theater. Movie theater. Movie theater and movie theater. Text convos. Frankie. I'm gonna see. The... 
I think that sounds like someone's at a window. These fucking audio cues, I tell you, they're fucking ridiculous. Shut up, Mr. Owl. Alright, cool. Let's double check the bathroom, make sure the light's on. It is. Great. Alright. Okay. Uh. I'm trying to get used to the audio cues. Back to Frankie. Want to go see the movie? I'd love to. Six of a dog. Uh, I'll have to feel better soon. Consciousness, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm serious. Can I like to say that I'm coming over to help you? So we're going to Nothing crazy there. Yeah, I'm going to the movies. I'll see it twice. I'm down to see it again. Awesome. I got sex tickets covered. Okay. Michaela, hey, I want to go see the movie. I can't. Super work. I'm pace enough. Call me after work. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think there's enough there. there she has a history, but. I just, I don't see enough here. Yeah, okay, that was the right call. Cool. We have an unknown. While I was walking to Lanceport Liquors and Wine, and I heard yelling around the back of the store, I heard, headed around to see what the commotion was, so I managed shaking a young girl against the side of the store. He turned around and looked at me, but his face, his face looked not real. Almost like a real-life version of one of those portraits a young kid draws for their parents. The image of him staring at me is still brand in my head. Thankfully, the girl, he was attacking right off while he was distracted, so I could get out of there without having to go near that thing. That's a car. Okay, I just got scared over nothing. That's fine. Alright, so male. He's got brown hair, brown eyes. Age is 20 to 25, so he's a youngin'. 155 pounds, 6 feet tall. Let's look for. Uh, it's an unknown, so. Alright, we got two. Both of them are between the right area. This is probably closer. That's too heavy. It's got to be Jack Kent. Although his face doesn't look that scary. <laughs> I don't really know what they meant by that. Maybe he had a mask on. Let's see. Get some police reports going too. Nothing on social. Nothing in the police reports. He doesn't have an alias. Check the debit card. Three strand cotton rope, ties, easy green cleaner, burlap roll. Oh, he had like a burlap sack on. All right, that's an. I'm gonna hold on to that on the side. Let's go check his phone. Search history. Preserving human skin. Facial deformities. Am I ugly? Have to live with being unattractive. People do this because of my looks. I don't feel human. Mask for sale. Mask from leather. Can make leather from human skin. Um. Wow. I'm just gonna put that over there. Pictures. Oh. Yeah, some sketchy shit going on here. Any text convos? Whatever happens next to your fault, I just want you to know. Wait, what are you going to do, Jeff? We haven't talked for everyone. Hell, I'm curious what to do, but what was I taught? I didn't ask me like this. That's why I don't want to fucking hear it all. My life's good, but I don't want to fucking hate you. Maybe do this. I'm an ugly piece of shit. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, so I put that in there. And we're going to fax them up. See you later, pal. Yep, that was the right call. So we got to do one more before the end of the night. Uh, five more to go to bed early. Um, let me go check around for lights or windows or anything because... We, oh my goodness! Light was off. I don't see him in here, but... Just make sure it was actually still locked. That one was locked. And it was locked. So I think that was just maybe the circuit creeping out, which... I didn't feel like reading the email that's on the uh, page there, but um, this house tends to trip electricity a bit. Phew. Come on. There we go. Um, so it does happen. He wasn't at the window, so it's not necessarily means that he's he. Cool. Alright. Word. 
So no kidnapper, no Tanner. I'll check the cameras, make sure Tanner isn't creeping outside, because I haven't done that in a minute. I don't see him. Cool. All right. Back to Brandon Simpson here. I was on the job because Mr. Brandon Simpson's PC that he had brought in the day before. He specifically asked us not to delete any files on his computer as they were work-related. We rebooted up the PC. There were many folders containing pictures of battered and abused-looking women in them. Brandon runs a modeling agency, but the photos were all poor quality and looked like they could have been taken secretly. It could be something serious, but Brandon is well-respected. I've never seen him as anything but a successful businessman. You think if Brandon had any malicious intent, he would have removed, hit the photos before bringing the PC into our shop, so I'm really not sure what to do here. Okay. Well, 40 to 45. Height is unknown. Weight is unknown. Definitely male. Gray hair. Hazel eyes. Brandon Simpson. There he is. Brandon Simpson. There. A police record. Nothing there. I do have a police record. Prisoner Simpson after receiving continuous harassment. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Thank you for the follow combo. <laughs> uh, according to one staff member, this man regularly visits the hospital and points his phone camera at us all the time. Simpson responded probably by offering to show us his mobile phone. He claimed, I haven't taken a single picture of anything for the past month. And his mobile phone supports his claim. It contains small amounts of maliciousness. Well, it's been taken to the hospital. The assistance is cleared to hospitals. Uh, this has not received any more harassment complaints. Um, it's interesting. I guess I'll hold on to it for now, just in case. I don't. I don't think it's necessarily evidence, but he definitely is suspect. Uh, we'll do some that, and we'll check out his debit card as well. Acro Center. He bought a hard drive. Cool, that's nothing crazy. Check his fucking phone. I want this guy to be. Oh! Oh! Fuck! I just missed it. So, now it's on. Um, I might as well go check the rooms and everything because that thing's not going to work for a while. So, yeah. Anyways, nothing there. All right, well, we got the lights went out. Cool. Didn't see him at the window, and it's also locked. It's over to the right. And one more room. I don't see him here. I'm gonna check the lock. Yeah, it's good. Uh, bathroom check. Why not? That's good. All right. Maybe that would have cooled down by now. We'll see. It hasn't cooled down. Fuck. Uh, we'll check the cameras. I ain't seeing them. I don't know why, but... So this sucks. So I can't... I can't use this again. And even if this was a piece of evidence, like the police report, I'm still one short. And I don't want to get another miss. Fuck. Come on, boo. There we go. Oh, for the love of fucking God, the internet went down. <sighs> Alright. Aye, aye, aye. This is always nerve-wracking. All right. Oh. John out here with the real jump scares. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I'd say so. Although I did get scared by the uh, kidnapper earlier. He was hanging by the window trying to get in, and I caught him. I jumped a little bit, not going to lie. I get it right this time. Give me like four seconds to do this on the one, the five. Whew. All right, search history. 
How to make a good logo for my company, PC boots to blue screen, how to install a hard drive, computer repair shops, computer, delete the, delete the PC remotely. Please restore photos and videos you just <laughs> Oh, man. Snuff films? Oh, yeah, okay. Eh, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, he, he likes his women. Cool. Caitlin's father. I have some questions about my daughter. She never came home after the photo shoot with you in the text. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. Ducky. Stuff picture stash. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Uh, da, 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 da. How are you doing, Liam? The photo shoot is tomorrow. She has time to sign her son. She's bring tools, too. That's uh, what I just looked at. That's the car driving by. Can you make sure not to delete anything on the PC there? Important work times. Can you please stop scanning the files and deliver the assistant back to me? ASAP. there have been emergency at the business. Days, however you require those files, I can send them to you online. No, sending it back two days will be fine. Uh, I'll just wait for the photo shoot, send it across there, three, four, hello, I'm here. Assistant search left. Hello, hello, please let me come. Yeah, this is sketchy. This dude's definitely sketchy. I mean, I don't have room for the police report, but I'm scanning this for sure. Yep. All right, so hit our three out of three, which is good. So we're not gonna have quota issues. So that's nice. Uh, we can still end up going to bed early, but in between each um, report, I just like to check because lights go out. And when lights go out, that will attract our little bitch friend, the kidnapper. Cool. All right, he wasn't there this time, but again, the light was out. And I guess I'll check the bedroom. I mean the bathroom rather. Lights good. All the lights are good. And I'll check cams just to make sure Tanner's not being a little creepy bastard. What the fuck was that? Don't tell me I just missed him. Definitely sound like someone was fucking with a window. That's 100% the truth. Nope, I'm just because I'm just wigging out. The lights are still on and everything. So the problem is determining what the sound cues are in this game, and I don't actually have any real playing time. Just kind of watch some streamers play it. it looked like fun. Well, <laughs> quote unquote fun. Uh, he did it again. He stole someone's package. This time it was the house across the street. He just came up to their front porch, took a box. That's where it's probably that young man lives down the road. This needs to stop happening. Okay. 20 to 30. Height, 5 foot 6. Uh, 160 pounds. Male. Got brown hair. He's got green eyes. We got how many people? Oh, just one. Magnus Solomonson. I feel like I did this one in detective mode last night. This name sounds really familiar, as does the story. Salomonson. I think I can copy paste in this game, because that would suck otherwise. Nothing on social media, and he doesn't have an alias. Alright. No police record. Debit card. Oh yeah, flesh from around the world. I recall this. Human eyes, raw bat wings, human finger salad, the gourmet platter, bowls, testicles, and penis, a sort of emerald chitlins, glass of milk. Yeah, I think that's our restaurant. I feel like I did this one before. And he also bought a shovel. Um, what did I miss? Oh, it's just the phone. I'm pretty sure the phone talks about, like his buddy tells him that that's, there's a cool restaurant he should be checking out. Because this dude's like Icelandic and he's totally into like tons of different food. <laughs> Fermentation process for various foods. Just like to find raw food near me, getting friends to try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did this one last night in detective mode. He's good. We can scan. Ah, uh, not scan. Shred. Yeah. Oh, I got some coins too. Awesome. Uh, next one. I've seen this man. Oh, hold on. No, no. I need to go check. See, that's the problem. Is like, you kind of get used to like just getting the work done. But it's always good to check for them lights, because. Lights gotta be on. If lights are not on, then Kidnapper is near. And then we'll check to see if Tanner's chilling outside yet. I'm shocked we haven't seen him and we're 
like really making progress on night two. It's almost over, actually. I'm not going to go to bed early, but that's okay. I've seen this man inside his car hanging around and driving past 3631 Briar Hill Lane repeatedly for the past two weeks. Fellow neighbors claim this car is unfamiliar to them and that the man has not been seen getting out of the vehicle, only watching the house from inside his car. One neighbor reported that she saw him looking at the house and writing things down during one of the nights he stopped by. All right, so we got a male. He's six foot tall, gray hair, brown eyes, 215 pounds. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's... Why does the internet keep going out? Of course, I'm never near the computer to notice that it goes off, and I guess I should really look up at the corner of the computer, because it does tell you when the internet's down. I just always forget to look, because, you know, lazy. <clears throat> Alright, cool. I'll do a quick run through the rest of the rooms to make sure the lights are still good since I'm down here. That one's good. That's good. That's not! Alright, good. He wasn't there yet. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Everyone's good and grand. Back to work. I think it ends at 3 o'clock in the morning. No, it's 3.01 I lied, so it must be 4. Alright. Let's try the search again. No results found. Oh, I forgot the age. Fuck me. 35 to 45. <laughs> now look at somebody. Jorge Byrne. Jorge Byrne. Search. We're in the police report. Uh, do we got a police report? We do. Officers apprehended 33 year old Jorge Byrne hiding in a shed in the backyard of 1020 Roosevelt Road. Suspect was in possession of a 9mm pistol as well as a small hunting knife. Byrne was reportedly having an affair with Regina Duringer, lady of the house, intended to kill her husband. Byrne was apprehended before any harm was caused. Um, yep. What do I have bacon have in common? A lot, actually. They both look, smell, and taste great, and as an added bonus, they're both slowly killing you. Oh, that's nice. Is the sale still on? My beautiful friend. A set of jumper cables walks to a bar. The bartender looks at them and says, Okay, I'll serve you, but don't start anything. <laughs> nice dad joke, dude. Domicile Depot. Twisted sisal rope. Camping tough multi-tool knife. Well, that's, that's suspect. Let's check that. Oh. Roll quick. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Woo! Half a second left. UNI.com, Domicile Depot catalog, jokes about marriage, how to tie a noose, how to be convincing. Uh, sketchy, but not terrible. Random picture, okay? Come over to something as we were in a very slow key with everything we talked about. I'm going to go to the amount of the supply of things, so I need you to be sure. I don't know if I can go with this jor or don't you love me? Yes, don't you want to be with me? Of course, so this money is the only way of him, so I know who to look for. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, okay. So, they were definitely planning on that. That is a definite scan. Yep, cool. Let's, uh... I hit the wrong button. Fuck. Alright. Let me check the cams. Make sure no one's hiding out out here. I don't see shit. Alright. Let's go check for some lights going out. Kidnapper hanging by a window. Nope. I don't see anything. That's good. I think the night's going to end really soon before I can even, like, get into this report at all. Internet's still up. It's green. Yeah, I got, like, one minute. Yep, there it is. Okay. So as long as we get the... up oh, saving. Cool, we made it. Night three. Ten more points. Holy shit, I can't believe I made it this far in the first try, but I'm pretty sure this is the night that I'm going to get fucked. Because, <laughs> like, there's just no way. Um, yeah, let's... Let's, like, make sure the windows are closed and lights are on. Like, I feel like this person doesn't care about their house. Jesus 
Christ. Yeah, this is ridiculous. At least it was off and not blown. Locked. Okay, let's go check in here. That's on. Uh, I'll get that next. I just want to get this light on because I'm, I'm freaking out. There we go. Uh, that was already locked. This one's open. Alright. Now just check the two next to the desk. That was already locked. That, that was already locked. Alright. Internet is up and running. I see the green square. Let's get to work. Real quick, let's do this too. No, it's, it's probably too early, but I just wanted to anyways. All right, Hernando Serrano. I've seen my neighbor for the past couple weeks now, throwing up several times in his backyard. He always seems like a chill and friendly dude, but I saw him a few days ago up close, and he was flaky, almost scaly skin. He appeared to be in a trance, didn't even notice me. Chat for a few minutes, but he didn't seem up for it. Well, I'm concerned the thing bothering me is what happened last night. He had one of his friends over, and they were chatting away, having a good time. Next thing I knew, his friend was on the ground. Hernando seemed to laugh about it before dragging his friend inside his house. Oh, sketchy male. He's got brown hair. He's got hazel eyes. He is 20 to 30 years old. Height and weight are unknown. Hernando Serrato. There she is. Oh, he's got an alias. The, oh, the Crunk Lord. <laughs> Crunk Lord 010. That is, that's, that's rich. Cool. And then uh, we'll drag this over here. I'm just going to type his name out. Hernando Serrato. Just like copy and paste it. An officer pulled over Hernando in his 98 Shella Silverdino for swerving all over the place while driving. He was driving underage, but Mr. Serrato had a BAC level of 0 0.13. He was given a DUI and taken in for the night. So he's a drunkie. Oh, he spent a lot of money at the bar. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. Ryan Cava. No, that sounds like my coffee. Oil change and a wiper fluid. Went back to the bar. Four shells of Boromatu. Blackberries, grass, pork rib. Uh, it looks like he just was doing some grocery shopping. Gas and beef jerky. Alright, well, nothing special there. Trip last one to us in the Pacific Isles. Welcoming. We just drink drinking. Blah, 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 blah. I need a good movie to watch. To remind if I get lost in the story, I wouldn't have oh, I wouldn't have a bad headache and not the pounding throbbing kind of thing. I might be experiencing with slight migraines. Just got four pounds of fresh oil. I'm gonna have several shells that grow up before I can body. It's actually pleasant. I think I'm starting to overdo it. Don't want to to come up on big enough pounding more shells than I can handle. I'm also starting to have people look at me strangely. Going to have to take a break for a week or so if I can manage. Nah, this is sounding like he may not be a bad dude. Um. Maybe he's trying to doing something. It's not cool. Should not refer to me as Crunk Lord. <laughs> you can have it, man. <laughs> uh, fuck. All right. Search history. Two. This kind of caused liver damage. Getting sick off of kava coarse fibers, reverse all time for kava, 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 kava. I was interested in this kava, taking the stomach, kava, heavy was heavy was around, so much for me, kava, I was looking for kava, 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 kava. Huh? Kava? Something? I'm assuming kava? Uh, dead skin, that was disgusting. I already looked at pictures. Text convos, Emma. Hi, brother, I'm checking in, blah, 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 him, no, I'm actually just fine there, Daniel, say that, but I'm ready, it's from supermarket brands, kind of control, da, 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 only drink, I'm just so strange, okay, well, that puts me in a little bit as long as I'm doing, it's just, I just, there's consuming a bunch of crap, can cause nausea, you know, from staring, of course, I didn't want to, I'm probably going to leave the sick to your stomach, just, uh, that one just happens, it doesn't really sound like, I don't know, I'm going over tomorrow night to get crunk, right? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. get crunk. My first just uh, so I'm going to make sure to feel it. Let me just make sure to pay some time. I've been having trouble with that myself, actually. I should actually probably take a break for about a week. Blah, blah, 
Bah! Yeah, you're looking forward to it. Hey, what happened last night? All of a sudden, I was out in your backyard. The next thing I know, I'm wa walking up on your couch. Fantastic, you're looking tiny ways, so I saw it coming. Couldn't help but laugh, though. Sheriff sometimes. <laughs> oh, yeah, it just seems like. Yeah. There's nothing that tells me that he, like, date raped this dude. Yep, that was correct. Cool. Time to go check the house. Come with me in a walk. Oh, crunk lord. Yeah, this is locked still, right? Yeah, it was locked. So we, didn't, we beat him to the punch. So that's good. Cool. Check the bathroom. Lights on. All the lights are on. Windows are locked. And we're just going to check out the cams. I don't see Dick. Okay. Nathan Palmer. I went up to a yogurt treat in Ashford Forest this past weekend and found those. It would be quite the Hensy man. The students that the teacher finds the most appealing. Usually a young woman get all the attention. <clears throat> what was one on the camera? You shut up. Shut up, you. <laughs> Whether it would be a hand on their hip to make an adjustment, getting uncomfortably close to their face, so they'll say good job. Guys, we're going to guys, we're gonna pose instructor compliments you on, so come day two on the trip. I get creeped out when I'm up to the post. To the town, they've been practicing my own. I get up much earlier than scheduled activities to have my peace and quiet. To myself, and those two girls with their bags packed into the parking lot. They pass by, ask why they're leaving, and they say that the trip wasn't what they thought it was going to be, and they felt weird staying after last night. Part of me was glad my views of Nathan were validated, but another part of me worried he did something to them. Interesting. So we got a male, brown, gray, unknown, unknown, unknown. Right. Nathan Palmer. There he is. He looks like one of those guys, if you ask me. Nathan Palmer. Jesus Christ, it got me again. Thank you, dealer. Uh, this is what happens when you try playing a horror game on your first ever Twitch stream in the Noises you're not ready for scare the shit out of you. <laughs> no police reports. He's got some results. He's going to treat this weekend. This film driving is welcome to come out. Treebeard sent you. Well, thank you, Treebeard. Interest. Yogurt treat, yogurt treat, yogurt treat. Yogurt treat. Eh, nothing sketchy there. Uh, he bought some coffee. Oil change of wiper fluid. Four shells of something. What the fuck that is? Um, this looks like the last. Wait a minute. Oh, I didn't change the name. God damn it. I'm like, this all looks exactly the same. There we go. Kombucha variety pack. Spring water pack. Three day campsite rental. Tent rental. Yeah, nothing crazy about that. Let me just make sure I actually have the right name in here then, because I don't think I changed that over. Do Ah, oh, fuck. Come on! <laughs> ah. Alright, well, looks like we're gonna go take a walk. I fucked that up pretty bad. Yeah, nobody's there. Cams. Let's go check for some lights. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Joyous occasion for all. Internet's still up. Actually, you know what? Oh, wrong button. I'm gonna go and reset the modem anyways before it decides to die on me. That will give us some time. Dude, what do you mean there it is again? There's nothing there. <laughs> Trust me, if if it was if it was Tanner, um, we'd know it. Can I not reset this? Oh come on! You do that. Welcome to the game, which is same developer, different game. Oh look at that! Fucking light went off. No one's here. All right. What the fuck? I can't. All right. Cool. 
Time to go double check their rooms, make sure other lights didn't go off. I, yeah, man. Trust me, I, I I know what's gonna be in the cameras. Um, I won't spoil anything for you, but if we saw Tanner and I didn't catch him, we wouldn't be alive right now. I can guarantee you that. All right, cool. We're back at it. You know what? Let's do this. <laughs> Oh, come on, man. I just bought an Insta Crack too, so. Because I really need to get this one done. Because I just feel like this dude is going to have something up his sleeves. Check the cams again, just for Kevin. So there's nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Like, I don't see any motion. If there was motion, I'd see it. God damn it. Take another trip downtown. Making my way downtown. Yeah, it's not there anymore. Ha 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 ha. You're a funny guy. Ugh. Yeah, I don't have a webcam yet. Um, which is too bad. He's got a nice haircut, too. <laughs> Um, no, no, I fucking heard that. I heard that. Someone just jimmying with a lock. Son of a bitch, where is he? Are you serious? I definitely fucking heard that, and there's no lights off. Alright. Try this one more time. Now I have an Insta Crack, which I'm just going to use because this one is, for some reason, impossible. I just can't seem to do it. Thank you. Girls in New York. <laughs> uh, campsite rental, sports deals, quinoa. It's really that good for you. Pictures, meh. Tent. Some pills? That's interesting. <clears throat> Excuse me. Rate of numbers. Heard you're offering up hush money. Some enjoys my cousin. Fucked up that your loyalty to your cousin can be bought out. What's your cash, friend? She's a bitch anyway. What? So you retreats. What do you think you know? Pray tell him. No, man. I know. I've talked to Lex. Okay, what will it take to keep you quiet? You're sick. You want so? Oh, yikes. I miss it. Valium guy. Yeah, this this dude's no good. Don't ever talk to me about it again. Send me a cash. Oh, yeah. So this dude, we're going to attach these two text messages here. Um, this dude definitely was up to some no good. Start no... What? Bro, you're going to give me a no on that? That's fucked. Whatever. All right, Judith Lodge. Oh, no, 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 no. Got to check. Got to check. Check around. It's night three. You know, really quick, hold on. Yeah, jump scares are on. Okay, I'm like, I'm not just playing with nothing, right? <laughs> it's just, this is super sketchy. Um, so yeah, gonna go do another round now that we're in between reports. We got one more for quota. Quite a few more to reach go to bed early, which I'm still yet to do. But I think if you go to bed early, it, it just means that you finish the reports for the night. Um, and then every two past quota will give you some more coins, which is nice. You get zero to two to get coins. We have to fill up this quota first. So I saw a strange man hanging around Judith's house late last night. I was going to call the cops, but it looked like Judith knew him. She opened up the side door without tripping the fog light on. They had some long conversation in the dark, gesturing with their hands back and forth until Judith let him inside. I heard something shatter inside and a weird thumping, but I didn't know if I should report it to the cops or not. Okay, so we've got a female... It is 35 to 45 years old. Five foot tall. She's 150. Oh, I hold shit. I forgot to change hair and color. Black and brown. 
And this is Judith Loge, Lodge, whatever. Alias. Judith Lodge. No one can. God damn it all. Might as well check on the way down. Okay. Cool. Grand. Uh. <clears throat> so how's everyone's day been today? Are we ready for this stupid damn jump scare that some reason has not shown up yet? Check time and he's... Fuck. Fuck! Kaboom. God fucking damn it! Oh! Well, that's what I get. That's what I fucking get for just talking shit. Uh, well, you guys just met Tanner. Uh, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, now it shows I'm not the kidnapper. Alright, so... I have no idea how, you know what? I should have checked the camera before I went to go do the modem. So, cause you know what? I would have caught him running and I could have flashed him away and I would have been fine. Oh, that was rough. Not responding. Uh Oh, oh we have a, we have, it's dead. <laughs> Scrutinized literally just fucking died. Hold on. Starting it back up. Yeah, see, the problem was is that there was a split second where, um... There was a split second where I couldn't move. And before I could, like, say anything, he jumped around the corner and there's loud noise in my ear. And, yeah, it was still up today. Here, Press S to skip, because I don't feel like listening to all of that. Uh, so, I, I mean, we were we were halfway through night three. Of course, yeah, it is permanent. I should get to my way. computer and get the night started. Yeah, you should. Um, so, yeah, casual mode uh, is no permadeath, which is nice, because you're able to save and play the night over and whatnot. But, but... Um, the ending is bullshit. You fucking clipped it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Great. We'll have to watch that after. I figured I'd just record anyways, but, I mean, you got the clip, so. <laughs> Bastard. Walking up so we don't get attacked by Tanner. Opening doors so we can't hide in the closet. Not that he needed to. Sick pervert. Anyways. Yeah, look at those bolos, oh, I know. Yeah. I need to read that email and check out those bolos. No, I don't. I know who they are. <clears throat> This here, that there, this here, that there. I'm just trying to figure out which one, which way works the best in terms of a setup. I still haven't quite figured it out, but it is what it is. Minnie Haw! I feel wrong doing this, honestly. I know Miss Haw works tirelessly to take care of her sick father and all, but lately she's been acting a touch strange. Maybe stress of it all, who knows? If I used to hire some neighborhood boys to mow the lawn since he couldn't allow, couldn't allow it back and all right. Miss Haw decided to continue his tradition, it seems. She works as a florist, you see. Prettiest flowers in the neighborhood. The first boy she hired was my son, Nicholas. Nico went over and mowed the lawn and accidentally stepped on one of her flower beds on his accident. My Nico would never be malicious on purpose. Miss Haw had been watching him, and when he stepped on the flower bed, he, he told me it was like she flew right next to him. Her face changed to something truly evil, he said, and for a second 
he thought she was going to hurt him with her garden shears. She said he wasn't the first she'd hurt, but before she could attack, he ran off. My poor baby ran home crying. I mean, that was to warrant some investigation, right? Not only did she threaten to hurt my son, but she's hurt other boys before. She's always been a real sweetheart, but everyone knows she has a touchy temper. All right. So she's 20 to 25. Oops. 20, 25. Heights unknown. Weights unknown. Gender is female. Hair and eyes are brown. Brown, 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 brown. Search him up. Mini haw. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> Mini haw. No police records. Okay, cool. So, let's see here. Domicile Depot, all purpose ingrown soil bags, potting. Trowel, clearing sickle, uh, prescriptions, refill for Deha, and a prescription for herself. So I'm assuming that might be her uh, brother or some shit. Outdoor fairy lights garden gnome. Yeah, nothing crazy there. Let's check the phone. There's nothing on Social Spy, right? No. Okay, cool. Was diseases, best home care for elders, bipolar disorder treatment. Oh, that's interesting. Pictures, flower, flower, old guy, flower. Okay, anything in the texts? Did you hear the news? Congrats, cutie. What news? You won the award for best garden in the community. Oh, wow, it's expecting that. Just came out weeks ago. Blah, blah, blah. They kept asking about him since so he was just staring at everyone from his favorite window. You know, the one that looks out into the garden. Thought he freaked them out. Uh, so basically mute, but at least now he nods and shakes his head. Uh, da, 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 da. So she takes care of her not very well dad. What do you think you're doing threatening my son? Who do you think you are? Pause if you're offended, but your son first stepped on my flower patch. Step off, he told you anything else. He's lying. You call my son a liar. You're psychotic. Uh, sounds like it was not right. Care my father myself. Yeah, I don't think she's suspect at all. Cool. One down. Check them cams. Even though it's night one and night one was really nice to us the first time around, I just, I'm not buying that it's going to be nice all the time. So we're going to keep on the routine. Because I feel like if we would not keep on the routine and lights go out, then I'm going to get kidnapped. And I don't want to get kidnapped by that Russian son of a bitch. All right, so we don't know the age, we don't know the height, we don't know the weight, we know she's female, and we got blonde and hazel, just to get that going. So I think my neighbor's abusing her dog, I hardly see her walking it, usually her nephew William comes by to walk it, the dog's name is Bruno. He's some sort of terrier or spaniel or something. I sometimes hear the dog howling at night. Sometimes throughout the time, it sounds very much like it's scared or in pain. I love dogs, you know, and it'd just kill me if I stood by and let a cruel and heartless owner potentially harm one. I hear ya. We'll check out Diane for ya. Diane. Ugh, damn it. Internet went out again. I need to go reset the router oh, in no, the back no, room closet. No, no, we don't. I need to check cams first. I'm not playing this game this time. No fucking way. All right, cool. I got nada. All right, so we'll go restart the modem, make sure the lights are all on and hunky-dory. That's good. That's good. Good. Restart this bitch. Yeah, so I think I'm going to stop talking uh, BS to the game, because clearly uh, it was listening. Not that I was expecting to beat this first time through, but, you know. Oh my god, what the fuck? Come on! Get out of my house! Dude! Oh, and now the door's gonna be closed. Yeah, because he's hiding in there. 
Oh, man. You know what? I'm just going to ignore him. If I open the door, I'm dead. And I'm not about to let Treebeard just get another clip out of this. So, oh, God, that sucked. I don't know why I'm searching for that again. Oh, Diane Frazier. Search. No social media. No police records. Uh, low doses of amitriptyline. See, if Amanda was here, she could tell me what this shit is. Large dog bed, dog treats, doggy blanket, hot water bottle for uh, Teddy Toy. Uh, caffeine tablets, instant coffee from the pest. Oh, from supermarket. I thought it was Petco. I was like, who buys coffee from Petco? Anywho. I'm not seeing anything crazy quite yet, but, but, check the phone. Oop, there we go. The Great Wild, time of the Great Wild, who wins the Great Wild? Can dogs have bad dreams? Can dogs have nightmares? My dogs make the scare noise in sleep. Dog night terrors, emergency bed, emergency near me. What is empty for clean, search and cheap, can kill dogs? How do dog nightmares stay up late with dogs? Happy pills, pet pills, can having kill people over 60? Oh, look at the puppy! And with William, Bruno's not sleeping only. He keeps on howling, waking himself. Luke's terrified. What should I do? It's so sad. Clean my room for the night. If you're still struggling, I'll continue with the bedtime. I'll give you my credit card. Yes, well, thank you. Yeah, it just sounds like the poor dog has a problem. So that's a scan. Uh, not a scan. Just get rid of it. So all right, cool. So we got some coins. We've got our shit in order. Uh, in terms of the quote, and I need to check the cameras first. I need to get into that routine. La -da 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 -da, la -da 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 -da. Of course, Tanner's not outside. I'm still not opening up that goddamn door, though. I'm not doing it. Fuck. 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 That was just a window, uh, window, light being off, no one at the windows, at either of them, which is fine by me. Cool. Cool. Alright. Now we can get back to work. I'm, again, I'm not opening up that damn door. I don't know how long it takes for him to go away. I'm not about to find out. Herbert Winter, my longtime neighbor, Mr. Winter, came by for a visit a few days ago. I didn't want to be rude, so I let him in. Although I was doing homework with my son, anyway, I noticed something on when I saw the looks. The man gave him the son and dismissed it as a crazy notion. Even let the man help with his homework. So far, so good. But yesterday, he approached my 12-year-old son inside of school and offered to take him home. Of course, my son refused, but this fact robbed me of sleep for the whole night. Mr. Winter is usually a nice and helpful man. He also told me that his hobby, video games, has a lot to do with teenagers. That he knows what makes them tick. I don't feel comfortable anymore with the thought of letting my boy out all alone. Alright, fair enough. So we've got a male. He's got gray hair, brown eyes, between 45 and 50. Come on, I pressed it. Height unknown, weight unknown. Herbert Winter. Ooh! Looks like some sketchy people in this game. Herbert Winter. Uh, this one feels like a good walk in the forest after work. It is like a little therapy for body and mind. If, if this is an awesome abandoned house in the middle of the forest today, it had a really creepy atmosphere. It's when I think of the fact that I will never know what happened behind those old walls. After a few weeks of break, I'm back in games so looking for clan members or calling for du calling for duty, finest tower. <laughs> Thank you for visiting one of the most scariest places I've ever been in my life. Always fun to go adventure with you, brother. On the road again. So nothing crazy there. Check his debit card. He bought some vodka. Lunchbox. And a gift card. Nothing crazy there. Check that police record. Ooh. Spotted as he was trying to hand a parcel of heroin to a 13-year-old boy. The suspect stated that the boy lived only a few houses away from it, that he thought the package was the child's brother's, the front runner of his local garage band. 
He contacted the parents of the boy to corroborate Mr. Whitman's story. The parents told us that Mr. Whitman had tried to convince the local children in the neighborhood multiple times to run drugs from across town. Then when Mr. Winter was quickly arrested for attempted drug smuggling, coercing minors to legal acts, when he told him of the charges that would be pressed against him, he dissolved the hysterics, he said that all this bullshit doesn't matter anyway because he is going to leave the neighborhood. The suspect was taken to the police station where fingerprints DNA were obtained for any future incidents. Yeah, so this guy is, this guy's a dick. Um, let's see what we got in his phone. Real quick, I'll check the cams again. Oh my fucking god damn it! Piece of fucking shit. What an asshole. Doesn't that guy have like a fucking surgery to go do or some shit? Let me jump in front of the cam. Ugh. General's news, how to change your car license plate ban in place in the area, smuggling laws by state, how to contain odors with cling film, Z-Box point cards, how to trick a drug dog. Oh my god, yeah, this guy's so fucking guilty. <laughs> it's part of Anonymous. Got some video game shit, some creepy fucking houses, there's that hat. Oh yeah, there's some, uh, some marijuana for you. Um... So let's check the text convo. It's boss. Hey, boss, I'm disturb you. Sleep. Man, I can't spend the the weekend. There's, there's another pass away a few minutes ago. Blah, blah, blah. I'm terribly sorry for your loss. Well, if you, yeah, of course, you can stay with your sister for a weekend. It's just like this. Ring. Nothing. This man's got the devil's lettuce. Yes, he does. I found two more that will carry our lunchbox. Stash house for the point card. It's amazing. Real those brats and one of the moving the dope. Not over text. I'll call you with the details. Well, Cal, looks like you just fucked your buddy Herbert up. That's getting scanned up. Faux show. Sure. Thank you. Do this. Kyung Dang. I'm going to check the cams again. Internet also went down. I saw it went red. I see no motion on the cams. That's good. I'm going to go check the house and reset the modem. All right. No one's at the window. Light went out though. Okay. Nothing there. Nothing there. Cool. Come on. I'm gonna restart my fucking router. Ah, oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Well, thank you to the uh, four people that are hanging out with me today. I know it's uh, middle of the work day, work week, what have you. you know, just to watch me piss myself. Tanner, don't be there. Alright, cool. <laughs> uh, Alright. On to the next one. <clears throat> Kyung Dang, female. I filled multiple noise complaints on Ms. Dang since she moved into her apartment in the Springview complex last month. She's been pretty liberal with following the rules around here. Play music into the odd hours of the night, having long chats with people till 4 a.m. It appears my complaints are going nowhere as my building manager Jared has a thing for her by the looks of it. Brought up to Jared directly and he made it clear if I kept up this behavior, he would be looking for a way to evict me. I have to imagine Ms. Dang paid this guy a favor behind closed doors because prior to this, Jared and I were on good terms. Jared is one of the most foul-looking men I've ever seen with hideously managed comb over he refused to shave down. It doesn't add up why a generous young woman like Ms. Dang would pay any mind to him unless, of course, it has to look the other way from what she does inside her apartment. Alright! Uh, so, she's 20, 25, height's unknown, weight's unknown, female... No, not blonde. Brown. And brown, searching... Young Dang, right there. There she is. Oh, she's got an alias. Her alias name is Mini Sugar? Mini Sugar O2. Alright. Tea with my best friend. And that's it. So that was a waste of fucking time. Alright, now we do Kyung Dang. Search. The police records scanning as well. No police records found. Bunny ears, pink powder. Elizabeth's mystery. Macy's Cafe is jasmine tea latte. Wine and dine is a rosé bottle. So nothing crazy there. This girl just likes to party. Landlord's probably like, you know, got a thing for her maybe. <clears throat> Let's check the phone. It's always the phone. 
Fuck. I got that one pretty easily. Mystery new arrivals, best around stars name. Should I start an only admirers account? Ha! Uh, best times to raid famous hour tubers, gun and granny release date, gunny granny leaderboards, best FPS game twenty twenty, funny year headset with Bluetooth. Pictures, I'm assuming that's her. Bags of stuff, bags of stuff, bags of stuff, bags of stuff. Okay, funny years. Latte, there's her gaming computer. Her gaming. Yeah, I think she's just up late playing video games. Did you get my present yesterday? I think it's much. This bunny in front is so cute. Yep. I think I'm going to see some awesome tips. Yeah, I can't wait, cutie. Stream site. Yep, maybe stream. Yeah, she's, she's a streamer. She's just up late. She's good in my book. And we're going to bed early, and I'm about to fucking die because I didn't check for shit. Ah, god damn it. I fucking forgot to check. Son of a bitch. Oh, the second I put the report up, I was like, wait, I should really be checking for the rooms before I do that. <sighs> God damn it all. No, that's, yeah, that's not Tanner. <laughs> that is the kidnapper, that goddamn communist. Um, so it's three o'clock. I am going to go and uh, get food because I'm starving. Yeah, I think I may come back though. Seems so, like do you have to rescue the person to get kidnapped? No. So we uh, so the the story here. Oh, okay. Hold on one sec. Let's just do that. Sorry. All right. So I figured I would just exit it down. Yeah, it's for whatever stupid reason that loves to be super loud. Um. So basically. <laughs> Basically, the, the, the lore of this game is that you are, um, you're a per you're this girl that is set, she had set up like this crime watch thing online. Uh, her cousin, who might as well have been her sister, was a police officer, and like her whole off her whole family's in like law enforcement in some way, shape, and form. Uh, there's this really bad serial killer known as, known as the Blue Blood Killer that essentially kills. All the blue bloods and everything, so like the cops, uh, security guards, that type of shit. Um, so we're basically trying to find him uh, via the crime watch stuff because the blue blood killer ended up killing our cousin, uh, the police officer. Her name escapes me. So we're trying to essentially find uh, this douchebag <laughs> and you know put him behind bars. But while we're doing that. Um, there's this guy who's the kidnapper who I'm pretty sure is the same guy from Welcome to the Game and Welcome to the Game 2, except he's not masked, but he says similar shit. He's also Russian, dressed similarly. Uh, Tanner is kind of a wild card. He is a new guy, um, from this developer. We don't really know too much about him, but, uh, anyways, um, I'll be back in a bit. I'm just gonna go get, like, a snack or something. Maybe do the dishes or some shit, but I will definitely be back if people still want to watch me, uh, you know, cry myself to sleep. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I will be back. Once I figure out how to help, I can mute my goddamn thing. There it is. I'll be back.
All right, I am back. Uh, just shoved so much food down my throat. I'm probably going to puke the next time I see a jump scare. <clears throat> do, 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 do. All right. <sighs> Let's see. Back here. Give me one second. Let's do this and All right, let's go ahead and launch this guy again. It is a real pain in the ass, though, that, that um, this intro music is so loud, and I can't turn down the music until the option comes up. So I'm just going to run as quickly as I can to start new game. So my apologies. Very loud. Okay. <clears throat> I should get to my computer and get the night started. Turn my volume back up so I can actually hear things. There we go. See, this is the fun part of the game, just locking everything. Like, oh yeah, I feel so secure. Yes, Bolo oh, Bolo. Yeah. I need to read that email and check out those bolos. Bolo Bolo Bolo. Bolo Bolo Bolo. Bolo Bolo Bolo. Just put the kid there. We'll put the social spy here. Alright. Oh, we did Kyung Ding already. We already know that she's a uh, she's a streamer. That's an easy win. Ha ha! Uh, e, uh, Albert Ewing. I'm his neighbor. I knocked on his door early this morning because I heard sounds of screaming and fighting. When he answered, he was sweaty and red, and it looked like there was a scratch on his neck. He was trying to hide from me. I asked him, hmm. Everything's perfectly fine. There was nothing to worry about. I tried asking uh, what all the screaming was from. So it's private. Nothing he needed to share to me. Fingers crossed that this is just a one time thing, and I'm not stuck next to some psycho couple for the rest of my time in this neighborhood. <laughs> Alright, so we got a male. He is six feet tall. Uh, brown hair, blue eye. <clears throat> name is Albert Ewing. There. No aliases. Albert Ewing. Got a police record. Anything on social? Yep, okay. So we got a police called to scene by neighbors for a domestic disturbance. Ewing was found highly intoxicated with a woman who was identified as his partner. The woman had a bruising on her arms, which Ewing claimed was from a fall. The woman corroborated his story. No charges were filed. Yeah, that's 
that's suspect. Happy one year, Raina Green, love you, babe. Ray was being a bitch again, so I laid down the law. She was crying, but I've got no sympathy. If you're going to make a mistake, you're going to pay for it. Sometimes you're going to know when to be the man of the house. Um, okay. Fucking incel. <clears throat> Best buds. Summer favorites bouquets. Small. All right. Right to the phone. I hit the wrong button. It's this one. I know. I'm sorry. Da, 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 da. Boom. How to clear a criminal record, anger management courses, how to hit without bruising. All things that sound terrible. Uh, okay. Just wondering when you're going to be home today. If it's okay with you, can you try to come back for dinner? Just that I made enough for both of us. I thought you might like some steak. Okay, so now you don't trust me to come home on my own. Oh, great. Absolutely. No, you're probably already fucking making it. I guess I'll eat a few if you can manage not to burn it this time. Sorry, I'm gonna think you'll be careful, promise. Ah, uh, Jesus. That text convo is pretty bad. The picture's pretty bad. His search history's pretty bad. Ugh, what the hell do I put in here? Ugh, I guess how to hit without bruising. I'd have to do that, maybe. I don't know, I think I'm gonna get boned on this one for bad evidence. Nope, gave it to me. Word. Okay, real quick, let's check the cams. Don't scare me. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Let's go check for lights. And we have a light out. And resolved. The light was out. No problems there. Well, I should say no kidnapper in the window. Nothing there. Nothing there. Great! No tanner, no tanner, no tanner, no tanner. Awesome. Back to work. <clears throat> Diane Frazier. Frazier, rather. I think my neighbor is abusing her dog. I hardly see her walking. Oh, we've seen this one before. He's got the nightmare pup. Uh, we can shred this one. Yep. Uh, at around 11 p.m. I went to get something for my car. This one was standing in front of my neighbor's house with a flashlight. She was peeking around near the windows of the house. As soon as she noticed me watching, she turned off the flashlight and waved. I've never seen her before, but she walked off before I could approach her. I told my neighbor to check around where Lady had been, and he'd hidden for anything usual. Okay. Height is 6 feet. Weight is 150 pounds. Gender is female. Uh, we got brown and brown. Age is 25 to 35. What do we got? Oh my goodness. That is quite a number of people. Uh, did I miss anything? Female, brown, brown. 150, 6 foot, 25 to 35. Okay, so we got 25 to 35 is all in here. All female. Height has to be around 6 feet. All right, it's got to be this one here, I think. 148 pounds at a 150. Yeah, I'm going to say it's Rosita Wyman. Uh, Rosita Wyman. <clears throat> what do we got? Anything on the social area? Got something. Police record. Ooh, the plumber that worked for Idleman and Cook Plumbing Company entered Miss Wyman's residence around 9.30 a.m. Schedule repair. We'll lean the plumber down to the leak. Miss Wyman... <laughs> Damn it. Internet went out again. Bastard. I need to Check go reset the, the router in the back room closet. Check in the cams. Check in the cams. Check them cams. Check in the cams. Alright. Uh, fuck me. Ugh, I'm already getting goosebumps. Don't like it. I do not like this. Uh, so who's still in here? I see there's three people. I just can't move my mouse. <laughs> right, we'll double check the rooms again. No creepy Tanner coming around the corner. Or at least peering around the corner. He could still be there. He's not. 
good, good, good. Grand, great. Go to work, read the police report. So yeah, 9 3 a.m. for sketch repair. We lean the plumber down to leak his arm, begin to make ominous comments towards the plumber. She then backed him into a corner with a switchblade and threatened to kill him if he didn't comply with her demands. According to the plumber, he managed to push his women out of the way before he is exiting the residence. His women chased plumber out of her house and two houses down the street. This was corroborated by two eyewitnesses who were leaving their homes during lunch. When police showed up at Ms. Wyman's residence, she complied with law enforcement. She was taken into custody. A restraining order was placed against Ms. Wyman by the plumber. Sean B. Sage and further evidence was found to charge Ms. Wyman for assault and battery. Um, you haven't missed anything yet. Uh, we've already done three reports, all correct. This is the last one for the night. It's oh, not even, it's just about 11 o'clock, so... Um, lost internet once. I'm an interior design consultant. My prices are cheap. My service is amazing. Have such a good morning. I'm really glad to be working. I don't have the time. Nothing to do. So you're telling me a shrimp fried this rice? Oh, God. Who takes pain better, men or women? I feel like I already know the answer to this. Finally, went up to that crazy night. It really took my mind off of the other project I've going on. So nothing socially as I would expect. Let's check out the debit stuff. Uh, energy drink, duct tape, knives, candles, lotion, men's underwear, washcloths. That's weird. Cindy's burgers, she got four burgers, two fries, a milkshake, and a cola cola. Well, a liter of cola. check out what's on her phone. I feel like just most of the evidence you're going to find is on the phone. Um, I mean, sometimes you'll find some other stuff like the police records. But... How long can the average person go without eating? Best ways to make someone stay awake. How to be more attractive to men. Seducing tactics. How do I get a man to let his guard down? How long would a torturer keep a victim? Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh boy. Nice living room. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, Jesus. The fuck is that? Uh, that was definitely just a fucking light. Yep, I knew it! I fucking knew it! I heard it! I heard the fucking light go out. Come on! Thank God I heard that. I did a little tink! A little tunk! Tink, tunk, tunk, tink! It was just that room. That's fine. That's fine. I probably should have checked cameras first. So I, I think I made a little boo-boo there, but we'll uh, we'll check them now. Just in case. Uh, okay. I got nothing. Alright, back to work. I think I'll come over if you want to take out the aggression and real when I have them in the basement. Oh my goodness. One of them is a bleeder. Let's not just think about some candle wax. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you know what? I don't have to read any of that. March late tonight. Just let me know anyone. Yeah, yeah. So this is. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you know what? It's. I'm gonna put the alley one in here, and we are gonna scan it. Oh well, before I scan it, I'm gonna do one more check through the. Uh, no, wait, hold on. Cams, 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 cams. Oh, motherfucker. Oh. That was a knock on the window after that, too. That was not cool. Fucking dick. So, what I have read, or at least have heard, is that when you get that jump scare, that usually means you're okay from Tanner for a bit. Same thing as if you catch the, uh, the kidnapper unlocking the window, you're good for a few minutes. So, kidnapper didn't hit any lights. I don't hear any tinkering. Let's go ahead and fax this up. We're ending the night early. Perfect night one. Awesome. All right. Ugh. All right. Good, good. Oh, nah. Just day. Make sure it's actually locked, home, Bray. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been a problem. Do you have to say they have a nice kitchen? Space 
ambitious, well organized. Alrighty. Let's -a go. It's nice. Let's do a quick cam look. Okay. Report number uno. Alright, Howard Elmore. If you're not aware already, Howard is a folly who makes sound effects for mainly horror movies. He's very proud of his success, most of it frequently. Excuse me, such many sounds that come up from this house. Which was the murder. Most neighborhood is turned on the performance. Howard puts on. It's believed that he recreates his films inside his house. Hell, it's not even uncommon to walk outside his barrage of painful screams only to see Howard casually walking outside to throw up the trash. Sweaty but happy as a clam. With the ordinary out of the way, here's what played with the curiosity switch in my head. What if this friendly, up upbeat, giddy man was using this whole thing as a disguise for what was really going on inside of his home? This patch again at the one tipped of his garage can, and it woke them in and went to the blood rags all over my front lawn and bushes. Now I should say I have no clue what Howard's performance entails. I don't know what's to be expected and what's strange. What I can say is that Curiosity Switch is flipped, and for damn good reason, too. I'm going to have my eye on Howard, and I recommend the watch does the same. So, this already sounds like it's going to not be a problem. But I'm not just about to screw up the first one of the night. I want to make sure we do the right thing here. Black... Hazel, and go, and this is Howard Elmore. He kind of looks like a creep. Howard Elmore. Copy that. No police record. I'm thankful every day I wake up and get to do what I love, so it's only a small booth, I'm about to die. A lot of people in the sound of the movies get recorded. So almost no one knows the one falling. Okay, so nothing bad there. Depot. He's bought razor blades, blade shears, shop vac, chainsaw, plated portal. Mail. Okay. I mean, he could just be building sets. That's not necessarily terrible. He got some energy shot, mojitos, some light beer. Mondo Mart. He got a vacuum sealer, vacuum sealer bags, and high. Sodium hydroxide, caustic soda, and lye. See now that's that's weird because I'm pretty sure that's some Breaking Bad shit. So, okay. Interesting looking at this dude's phone now for sure. Joints of the human body, morgue technician autopsy process, easy plants to take care of, benefits taking a cold shower in the morning. So that one's a little weird. Uh, hey, that looks like a fake heart, like a prop. Okay, likes boats. Uh, that's a little weird. Uh, it could also be a set. It's tough to tell. Gideon, holy fuck, that scene that you sent over yesterday it was amazing. You blew everyone over with the performance. Thank you, that's very kind of you say. I always try to make my blood sweat and tears in every performance. There is someone fucking around somewhere. I could hear it. Well, the light went out, but I didn't see our buddy. He must have been out back, or he was, he was making his way, or something, but... By the way, you don't ever see the kidnapper on the camera, that's just Tanner, which is kind of odd, but anyways. Phone so that's nothing bad. We're going to coming up soon. Gorgeous man. We'll film this Saturday. I plan to it to you the usual way. Man, will be sent promptly. Oh. Oh, Lord. Oh. Yeah, dismemberment and shit. Wow. I guess I fucked this one up, because he definitely did some shit. Cutting us loose for the weekend. Uh, 
crossers nowadays. Um, that picture was kind of strange, but the search history is the morgue technician I'm looking into. Uh, I'm going to scan it. I think he's suspect. Wow, okay, nope. Guess not. Should have listened to my gut instinct. Oh well. I keep forgetting to check the goddamn cameras first. Uh, nada. Right. Yeah, the one on the left is a shredder. The one on the right is like a e-fax. I got nothing. No creepy. No cameras. Shit. Uh, Larry Jackson. Oh. No. Yeah, I totally shredded it. I'm a fucking idiot. That's why it didn't work. <laughs> Alright. No. Fair call. Uh, tall skinny likes to try and scare us by grabbing us when we go here. <laughs> F. F in the chat, please. Last night my friends and I were playing and he came over with a bag of chips. He has a best friend Dylan if he wanted some, but then Larry pulled out what looked like a knife from the bag. Everybody ran and Dylan hit his knee hard on the ground. I couldn't help him and hid in his shed. I hid for hours until my parents arrived with Dylan. He went back home. I didn't tell my parents and we didn't see Larry on the way back. Think Larry would come for revenge again and I'm scared. Okay. So Larry, we don't know his age, we don't know his height or weight, we know he's male, we don't know his eye color, but we know his hair color is brown. So this is going to be a big search return, but fortunately we have the name, Larry Jackson. Larry Jackson, there he is. No police reports. Nothing on social media. Let's check his debit card. Chips and a survival knife. Alright, so it's very possible he just pulled a fucking gag here. But I will hold on to that just in case we find something more. Again, via the phone. hearing that. I heard that. I heard that. I heard that. That sounded like a window thingy. Someone jamming with my locks. Alright. Nope. Cool. Ah. Uh, Jesus. These fucking audio cues are screwing with me. Bullying kids. Kids who died from bullying. Classic bullying text from the 80s. Have young kids killed themselves from bullying. Pressure point control used by police. Usual procedures when a child goes missing. Alright, so this dude's sketchy as fuck now. Um. Okay. Dead slow, live children. Jesus, dude. This guy is tapped. Justin. I this little motherfucker up just now. He's probably crying for his mom. Yeah, real smooth fucking assaulting kids for kids who are... Uh, I'm gonna head up more of those little shits gonna fear me for the rest of their lives. Ha ha. Whatever you say, buddy. Hey, fuck you. You think it's cool to boy little kids? So I got my fucking on you. Shit, better to watch your back. Who the fuck is this? Not important. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, I'll be this video. Thank you. You can scan me behind some fake. You're like a man pussy. Blah, blah, blah. Stop blocking your dumbass fuck out of here. So, I'm gonna say just the Justin text is, sh is saying that he did mess with people. Um, and then I wanna do the pressure point control used by police because that sounds like he's trying to grab them so again i'm gonna go to the right and scan this you'll be fucking kidding me uh i don't know that sounded super sketchy to me check the cams okay check for lights No 
one's there. It's like definitely went off though. Okay. Good here, good there. And one more time, just for S's and G's. Aye. Elsa Monroe, my neighbor, Mrs. Monroe, a strange young woman. She bought a house where she was just 23 years old and has lived alone next to me ever since. She seems friendly and withdrawn. Mrs. Monroe is always at home and does not seem to have a job, and now I know why. Two days ago, I saw Mrs. Monroe receive a visit from two men. One of them had a suitcase in his hand. The other one had fell to the floor. It was full of cash. It seems I was the only one who saw it. It was like one of those movies, men in suits, maybe thousands of dollars. Something is not right here. Okay, so female, blonde hair, brown eyes. Age is between 20 and 30. Height and weight are unknown. We're looking for Elsa Monroe. There we go. Elsa Monroe. No police record. Happywellflight.org. One ticket to Moscow. And some wine. Uh, let's keep that. Let's keep that Moscow thing over here for a minute. That's a little interesting. Nothing under there. Is she a spy? Kind of funky. Search history. Where can I order acid? <laughs> Rent houses in the U.S. Cocktail recipes. What is tetrodox? <laughs> Tetrodotox. What the fuck that is? Can you flush what wipes down the toilet? <laughs> Pictures. You got some uh, interesting looking wine. Nice bedroom. Some more wine. Uh, electric chair. That's that's interesting. Tax convos. Boss. There's an answering. I'll take care of it myself. It's too dangerous here. We're going to be doing your own dirty work. With Sven, it's personal. Give me half an hour. It's taking care of the wasp's nest. You won't have to worry from now on. I think there's fun whenever it solves it. Oh, Jeebus. The success went well into the week with you. Good, don't make me wait so long again. Larry, answer your damn phone. Forget it, Larry. took care of it myself. Thanks for nothing. Take care of the groceries. Yeah, I wasn't want to disappoint you. I like that you got it. I hate to discharge you like Larry. Received your payment. I'll give me the info. Come to my house tomorrow and don't bring your friends. If you're to find them, I'm gonna hurt you. Did I make myself clear? Some of this bullshit you've lost in your little coup is finished. Now I'm gonna concert with somebody double cross for tomorrow night. Payment. If you're not here, then I will hunt you down myself. So I'm gonna put Patrick in boss's evidence. Um, I don't think we need the, re the receipt at all. Let's scan this up. There we go. I finally got one right today. We've reached our quota for the day, which is nice. Let's check the cams. All right, and let's go check for lights. Oi! Get the fuck out of here! That bastard. Yeah, that's why you gotta stay on top of this shit. See, if I didn't get that routine, if I went right to the next report, would have been dead. Well, not dead, but kidnapped. Son of a bitch. Thinks he's so fucking smart for breaking my house. Alright, we'll double check the cams once more just to make certain. And of course, the internet's out, so I need to go fix that. God damn it. Do, 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 do. are on. Great, great, great. Restart. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Gonna restart the router. Okay. And I checked the... I checked ever the, the cams first. Um, I didn't see Tanner. So, hopefully he's already in here. He's not. Lights are all on. 
pretty sure I locked all the I locked that window that he was trying to come through. So Emily Lenter, I started to use the terms of restraining where I've seen this thing on the sidewalk. Oh, you know what? I've seen this one before. She's guilty as fuck. Um, <laughs> spoiler alert. Um, I just need to be able to go and find the information and provide it as such. But yeah, she's uh, basically found out where her ex-husband is living now and chases him down and shit. Stands outside, sends some bad text messages and whatnot. So let's get the police report because I know that, yeah, that's police report from filled up by her husband uh let's go right for the phone oh i'm dumb i thought i had <laughs> i thought i copied it my bad let's go right on in save some time come on Something about, I think it's not pictures. Um, yeah, here it is. Far as the, the husband, and, or ex husband, and eventually responds Amelia, stop, you're a fucking psycho. Yada, yada, yada. That one's done. Send it up. Cool, cool, cool. Let's clear that. Um, let's go ahead and check cams. I don't see him anywhere, so that's good. Go check for lights, make sure the kidnapper's not trying round two on me. Come on. Alright, cool. Great, grand. Everyone back on the bus. Uh, is internet on still? Yep, I see a green square on the screen. Good to go. Joy Lolum. I was up my roof trying to find a leak from the storm last month. I saw a joy in her backyard by the pool. She was hanging out in her bathing suit with a young guy. He looked to me like he was a college student, maybe a little older. She, they were smoking something together, and I didn't get a good look at what it could have been. I know the young kids these days do these dabs in the glass pipes or whatever. Joy never pegged me for a low life. <laughs> pegged him. Um, I feel like I saw this one as well last night when I was doing detective mode. Which, by the way, detective mode is essentially just doing this without any uh, jump scares. So I felt like playing that uh, to kind of make sure I understood uh, how all these different apps work and everything. Yeah, this looks super familiar. Joy. U-E-L-L-E-N. N. There we go. No police record. I want to say this was strictly text messages. Um, like she was, she basically had somebody like blackmail or something. Yeah. Cold relaxing, cold this, cold that. Cigarettes, lager, fruit snacks, cigars. Uh, shovel, topsoil, quart tub, quart tub, quart tub, orange soda. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and crack the phone. What the fuck was that? I definitely heard, like, grass moving. What the fuck was that? Oh, no! Shit. I forgot to do the hack. Well, not hack, but... He's back again! I heard you! Motherfucker. Ugh. Jeez, he's getting really aggressive on night two. Watch, by the time I get back, the internet's gonna be down. Might as well go look. Nope, it's on. Alright, cool. Cool. Alright. I locked that window, chased him away. This kidnapper is quite the hoe. Is this gonna be back on by the time I'm back? No. 
check the cams again. Alright. Come on. <sighs> Fucking thing. Listening out for any audio cues. I know what's in her phone is what I need. It's already 3 a.m. I got my quota. I did take two L's though. That wasn't good. Alright, here we go. Saints has serial killer dump bodies. used to take care of dogs. Other king shells. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, no, some bad shit in there. Pupper, dude. Pupper, dude. Cunt. <laughs> I think I had this. Is it. I might have taken a couple years. That's a joke, right? Cute text. Blah blah blah. blah. Yeah, I remember this. So you go to a glass of wine. So this most level marketing needs to see me. I don't want to make any rash decisions. Change your mind yet? No, I'm wasting my time. You're Dumbass. Hey, we've got some nice cars for you now. I gotta stop by the house, pick up the dog, and meet up with you. Oh, I love you. I was dying. Coffee sounds amazing. That's your favorite. That's who's following me. I just don't know what I can trust more. I have the space. The dog just scared the shit out of me running in here. Oh my god. Fucking Mila. Oh. Dog just scared the shit out of me. One of them came in one side, and the other one got me on the, the blind side. <laughs> Wait, a little dagger in my boot. So the guys thought he was really fast. All right, I think it's Tommy. Uh, yep, this is it. Uh, you're gonna find out when you get here. I need your muscles for this. Uh, Tommy, and we'll put Cunt in there. <laughs> All right, let's scan it. Cool. Clear. Check the cams. At this rate, he's eventually going to just show up in that camera, like actually running across the yard, and it's going to scare the shit out of me. I don't think we're going to get another report done unless it's a shred job. Um, because there was, I think it was like quarter of four. Thank you, what's up, good job for the follow. That one didn't scare me, I was ready for it. Yeah, we got six minutes. We kids from school and saw someone hanging around the outside of the parent pickup. Not sure if they were in the system for this. Kids. Da, 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 da. You know what? Yeah, we're not going to get this done. So, actually, we hit the cams once. What time is it? Oh, shit. Quick, quick, quick. What was that? What the fuck? What happened? Why am I. Uh. Are we on the next night? <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Oh, I went to go check cams, and it just, like, shorted out. That was really weird. But I'm assuming we're on to night three now. Cool. Oh, let me check the fucking lane. Switch rep. Yep, that's good. You're on, cool. What? Are you serious? You're gonna hit me with the instant kill glitch? Oh, you motherfucker! Oh, they insta killed me. It's probably because I glitched out at the last thing. Oh. Fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, that scared the shit out of me. Um, it was super loud. I need to learn how to turn this thing on the phone. <laughs> Taking a piss and heard it from the bathroom. <laughs> uh, Alright, hold on. I gotta go look at... I wanna go watch the clip that you got earlier. It was pretty funny. Let's see. Check time and he's... Fuck. Fuck! Yaboo. God fucking damn it! Oh! 
Well, that's what I get. That's what I fucking get for just talking shit. Uh. <laughs> time and he's. Fuck. That's funny. All right. Let's see. So the problem is, is that as much as it would be real easy to just go and play, well, I would say easy because casual is really difficult from what I was told. Um, the difference is, is I'll, I'll show you here too. So casual is no permadeath and it's just five nights uh, that you have to survive. Normal mode, which we're doing, is 10 nights with permadeath. Um, and a nightmare you have to unlock, but I'm pretty sure a nightmare is still permadeath, but it's 14 nights, so it's essentially two weeks, um, which obviously is like next to impossible. And then obviously detectives, no threats, you do seven nights, and it's just to solve cases. And obviously you, you have to, you can only make five mistakes. I should say, you only make four mistakes, the fifth mistake will cause you to fail, which I did on purpose because I wanted to go to bed. <laughs> um... But yeah, I don't know it, what happens if I would uncheck jump scares and then try doing normal. Like, I feel like that would just kind of uh, disable it or something. But uh, I think I'm going to give this another go. Um, yeah, I think I can give it... I'll give it another shot. We'll see if I can get... it's Because it seems like night three is just like... Well, I mean... It seems like I should have died at the end of night two while I was checking the cams because I swear I saw Tanner running and then it just decides to insta-kill me at the start of the next round or night rather. So seems like the biggie here has been um, <clears throat> it has just simply been night three being the end all be all kind of like Tim's going to die. Sorry. <laughs> so all right. Give it another go. It's four o'clock. I could definitely fit in another one. Uh, I'm going to turn the volume back up a bit here. Bear with me. That's probably fine. Yeah, okay, that's fine. All right. I should get to my computer and get the night started. Yes, we should. Let's see, how much can I turn? I need to turn my volume up, because I need to hear. Those audio cues are killer. Oh, by the way, that's the uh, that's the cousin that died. We kind of keep her stuff here. And also, this is where the circuit breaker is. If I'm dumb and I flip the uh, the breaker by accident, which is done by essentially just smashing the fuck out of the space bar uh, while looking on cams to turn the lights on. There's some short. It's it's explained in the email um, on the desktop. I just don't feel like reading it because I kind of know how it works. I uh, just want to get into it. <clears throat> oh, Let's, yeah. Uh, I need to read that email and check out those bolos. Well, it's, uh, it's all about the bolos with you, lady. Alright. Police record. Come on. We'll do social, social spy can go here. Need my sim db and the rootkit to go there. Debit, and then we'll put this guy over here. All right, numero uno. So I was late at the park and overheard her talk about how she had finally taken care of her husband and how he wasn't going to be a problem anymore. She seemed very confident and relieved speaking about these things until she turned around and saw me behind her. She quickly changed direction, continued her phone call out of her earshot. Out of earshot. I think I look don't look disturbing to the point where a mere glance in my general direction would drive someone to essentially run away. On the other hand, maybe it was a secretive call not meant for strangers to listen in on. 
Reporting this now, it sounds less odd than I thought it was when I saw it with first hand. Just take my word, it was weird. That's fine. Female, 50 to 60. Uh, height would be 5 foot. How do we have this person's weight? <laughs> Gray. Blue. Search. Well, Erica Thomas is the only person we can choose from, so... That seems good. Erica Thomas. Results found. Debit card. Police record. No police record. Family pharmacy. Gauze bandages, reusable ice pack, finger splint, and I can never pronounce that. Uh, acetaminophen short. Uh, I have no idea what that actually does. It could just very well be like a disinfectant or something, but... <clears throat> As it always seems, I've got to go on the phone to get the real stuff. Divorce attorney, how to build a legal defense, how to disappear. Interesting. Oh. Anne? Okay, I think I'm actually all set. I think I'm going to leave him. That's awesome. Duty to place stay. Say the word and I'll get you out of there. We can clean up the spare room. And Angel Annie, I'll let you know when it's final. Lionel? Absolute fucking bitch. We fucking sorry you missing. <laughs> you think you'll find anything better at your age? You're disgusting. I'll fucking find it no matter where you go. You're going to... Oh, wow. So this to my lawyer along with all the pictures of my bruises. Oh, that's her. To lock you up, and you'll never see the fucking son again. You don't scare me anymore. So yeah, um, I think this is a shred job. She seems like she's just happy that she did, got through the divorce. Yep. Cool. Let's go through the cams. Don't jump at me. Thank you. I mean, ultimately, it's not terrible if he jumps at me, because that just means that it's it's supposed to just throw you off, I guess. But it's when he's running through the yard is when you gotta stop him. If you don't, he gets in your house mighty damn quick. Alright. So night one, they're being nice to me. That's fine. And we'll do one more cam shot, just in case. Alright, cool. Max Snow. Maximum Snow. You ever met someone who thinks that's a serial killer? Yeah, I have, and her name's Max Snow. Sounds like a stripper. We're both students at the local uni, and we're in the same pre-med track doing our anatomy, anatomy class together, but we're not exactly close. Anyway, she's fucking weird, awkward as shit always looks like. She crawled out of bed five minutes before class. What's wrong with that? Like she's hiding a secret. I try to avoid her because of it, but the anatomy class has made it hard. She's so fucking weird about the body. She gets this look in her eye, and I get when someone puts a piece of cake in front of me. We got paired up to finally do a dissection on a human, but a cat. Baby steps, whatever. The whole time she was cutting the cat, she was just muttering something about, when can we do this on an actual body? I'm here like, why so impatient? She says something about us not being vets, but it's horse shit. We both know it. She cut the cat with ease and quickness that can only be explained by experience. She's cut shit before, real things. After class, she told me she knew where to find the actual bodies. And asked if I wanted to join her. I was like, yeah, fuck off, and we came right here. She needs to be looked into ASAP. Well, okay, that's why we're here. We're brown and brown. Uh, age? Nope. Height? Nope. Weight? Nope. And the name is Max Snow. Where is Max? There we go. She's got an alias. This is, uh, OPH Blossom. Okay. And now we'll go ahead and get this going. And this going. No police record. So at Mickey's, got large fries, large shake, and a BLT burger. Sounds pretty good. Study planner, blue anatomy coloring book. Okay, it's nothing on the debit card. You ever see a grade and go, yikes, and late night saying when it's out and about? I think these always sting. Perfect parents are both lawyers. Perfect brothers are psychiatrists. Me, I'm trash. Just one whopping appointment. So I'm I go into med school. Let's see how long I last before I inevitably flunk out. LOL. Wish I'd have to enjoy the girls on campus. Have. They've been so pretty and prim. Hmm. 
So, nothing that I'm seeing is rough, unless there's something on her phone, as per the usual. Search history. Best editing methods, best ways to memorize terms, human anatomy guide, morgue, how to become a morgue technician, morgue technician salary, how to remove F's from transcript. <laughs> Good for you. Uh, office supplies, scope, uh, I forget what that's called, but I know I've seen it before. Text convos with brother, oh, I'm giving up, what's up? Finally got my grades back for the year, fucking atrocious, failed to require class, so take again, as I'm staying on the transcript. If you just say golden child, whatever. Classmate, hey, Jimmy, it's Max. We're in the class. Also, we talked about things on the weird note, but I was serious. I mean, trying to get the games. If you're looking for insurance, you seem to know your stuff. I know it's serious. Not interest. Oh, well, worth a try. And Sonya, hey, good shift tomorrow Tomorrow morning. If you're not busy, we're in the, the ropes. She come in. Wait, really? Yeah, I've also reached the extra ship. I was a little bit close to Yeah, so it seems like she's just a student that's super awkward. That's a shred job for sure. Nice. Okay, let's check the cams. Oh, fuck you, Tanner. Fucking asshole. Oh, okay. Let's go check for lights and a kidnapper. Alright, he's not here, but the light is out. One. There we go. Word. Uh. Come on. Back at it again. Well, heading to my chemistry seminar, I spotted Mr. Hardy hanging out with one of the students in his classical literature class. Mr. Hardy has always been pretty much a pushover with his students. I had him last semester, and as long you go, and just entertain the boring stories he tells in his monotone voice, and managed not to fall asleep. He curves your test in the next letter grade. Weird thing was he ushered this 19 year old looking girl into his office by putting his hand on her ass. Definitely not an appropriate action for a teacher who's practically three times the age of any of his students. That's a little sketchy. Just to say the least. It's male, 50, oh, 55 to 65. Oh, yeah. Pervert. No, unsure of the height, unsure of the weight. He's got gray hair and green eyes. Henry Hardy. Ugh. Uh. Copy that. Okay, we got that. We can put up the debit stuff. We can pull this up. No police records. Sahara.com. Damn it. Internet went out again. <sighs> I need to go reset the router in the back room closet. Don't even think about it, Tanner. Fucker. Alright. Well, gonna go check for lights and redo the router. I swear I opened that door. Sketchy. Beer break. Ugh. Check my way back. Uh, don't even say that. Like, I don't think that's a thing, but oh my. <laughs> See, that would, that would outright kill me. I would flip over this chair and just die. Um, Diamond Elegance three-piece set. Uh, it's whatever. So he's trying to uh, get somebody happy or some shit. Uh, Sunday, dad joke time. Two fish swim into a concrete wall. The one to the other and says, damn, yeah, yeah, yeah. From a debate team, we're definitely taking home the gold competition next week. These kids are smart, so it's a joy to get to work with them, and blah, blah, blah. Nothing crazy there, but again, it's very rare that anyone posts something stupid on social media, at least in this game. <laughs> in real life, uh, well, I won't go there. <clears throat> No, get over here. Divorce attorney, signs of menopause, menopause claims for divorce, medication, daily combinations with alcohol. Ugh, solution that dissolves organic matter. Swim hydroxide to dissolve living tissue. Okay, that's sketchy. Students, students. Uh, 
drinking, drinking. All right, nothing crazy in pictures. Laura. What's up, dude? Henry, did you really think I was going to find out about your little affair with dumb whore in your class? You're 19 years old. Henry, what kind of sick shit are you into? I don't care what you do. Oh, yeah. Caught him. Hold up the from us now. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, this is... Yeah. I don't even have to read all that. I know that that's sus. And Riley is my plan to figure it out. I'm thinking I'd bring you home tonight. We hang around and rub it in her face. There's nothing she can do. So you might love it. For a snippy two hours, take all the medication, swim under that with some pills to stop her. Actually, you know what? Let's get rid of this. I'm gonna put the Riley one in here, and then go back into search history and do medication daily combinations with alcohol. And I'm going to scan that puppy because that's a definite yes. Yep. Detective Jugs on the case. Check the cams. All right, no one on cams. Let's go check out the uh, rest of the house for any lights that have gone off. All right, nobody's in here this time. Uh, well, at least I didn't see anybody, but at the window, just a light. Cool, he's not hanging around the corner. I didn't see him on cams. Good, 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 good. All right. And another one. Stephen O'Neill, this weird kid from the neighborhood, has been stalking my 18-year-old daughter for a month. He's always calling her, standing outside her door to meet her. Last night, that sick freak tried to climb through her window. Do something about it, or I will do something about it, and it will be far from pleasant. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, 15 to 25 years old. Height is unknown. Weight's unknown. Male. Uh, excuse me. Brown and brown. And hey, this is Stephen O'Neill, right there. No aliases, a little bit easier. Stephen O'Neill. Boom. Bada bada boom. Bada bada boom boom bada boom boom. Police record. Uh, no police record. Uh, thanks for the cool tour, Matt. Epic party. Thanks for coming, Matt. And my love. I'm fucking bored. Anybody free this weekend? Nothing there. Uh, chocolates and a bouquet of roses. Burgers. Bottle of water. Okay. So, nothing outside of the phone. It's gonna be a twofer, I just know it. Fuck. Alright, I actually got that pretty well. Love letter ideas, hotels in the area, movies in the cinema. Who is that dude? Pictures. Is the bike? So the two of them up being cool. It's probably her. Text convos. Creepy dads. Okay, I'm going to tell you once and for all. That we... oh, that's the car. I didn't think you answered that. Ah, okay. Matt. Oh, sorry, I have to skip it. Say I'm meeting my girlfriend. Seriously, I got everything I need for a cool now. Now you're going to. Victoria, brother, calm down. We could do something at school. Blah, blah, blah. So, uh, okay, to tell my father about you. Just whatever. Girlfriend tells me about I'm a sick stalker. Absolutely not. This that's one of the other guys I'm sure available will be available to, but we're friends with your girlfriend with all this melodrama. <laughs> so we did a new horror movie ready for you. I don't know, I'm actually out with Matt today. They canceled it, I understand. I don't know if you don't think gonna like it, but I'm an option. Man, I bet you don't know. It's horrible, right? To him, like, we're seeing you, Vic. That's not gone forever. Thanks again for today. My dad didn't notice. Thanks for the regret. Thank you for touching me. So yeah, they're just, it's one of those star-crossed lover deals. That's a fucking definite. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Hold the phone. We had three out of four. I almost went to sleep without doing the needful. Holy shit, that was close. All right, we're bouncing out of here. Mila, I just felt you sniff my leg. Thank you for letting me know that you're there. I'm going to go check for lights. Make sure everything's looking good. 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 No! No, 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 no! You get in that fucking closet and you stay in there. I'm going to bed. Fucking Tanner. Seriously? No. He needs to leave. This is a fucking shred job. I'm going to sleep. He best not fucking be there. Don't be there. Don't be there. Don't be there. Thank you. Wow. Alright, so night one was interesting, that's for sure. We got a kidnapper, we had a jump scare on the cams, and then the fucking creepy bastard was just hanging out in the hallway as I wanted to go to sleep. I 
hallway lights out. That's fucking. Oh, all the lights are out. This is this is fantastic. Also, did I lock the window in my bedroom? Uh, let's double check here. I did. All right. Well, can't be too careful. Let me just turn the light on first, because that's just giving me the creeps. Come on. With the bathroom lights off? Jesus. They shut everything off. Damn girl, you cray. Alright. I definitely forgot to check the window in the uh the spare room. I gotta go back. Shit. Can I open this down? He's not gonna be there if I open it now, right? Oh, thank god. <laughs> that would have sucked. Alright, I was already locked, but that's fine. Just need to have that reassurance. Check the last two windows here. Stop at the window shaking, that's not real. Been there already. Hit the wrong button. God damn it. Alright, well there's no one there, so that's good. First one down. Also, I'm buying an instant hack just in case if I run out of time. Working from home, we're... Work... Oh, walking home from work, I saw a man come out from an alleyway with a butcher shop up clear the road. He was alone in the Hands a shirt and hands. I thought someone was very quiet about what he was saying. He had me in the distance watching me walk off quickly. Because I just seen him try to follow him. He goes around the corner. He either started running or he hit from me. And I know it was pretty weird. So you're near a fucking butcher shop and there's a guy with dark stains on his clothes. Like, I mean, is there ketchup near the bro is there blood near the broken ketchup bottle? Like, <laughs> fucking Christ. Uh, just not sus to begin with. But need to do the needful. Anthony Heinemann. And he also has an alias, which is Aaron X. Reiner. It's kind of odd. Not built for pet sitting. If you need someone taken care of, send DM. Raids of help. Wait. We need someone taking care of someone. That's odd. <laughs> that fucking sounds like he used the wrong, uh, wrong noun there. Oh, Bob, the best disturbance originally called in by neighbor on six fifteen fourteen for shouting unpleasant odor and called in again six fifteen fourteen. Heinemann allowed officers to search his host home once again. No evidence of criminal acts was found. Two legally licensed firearms found properly stored in caves in, caves in the home. <laughs> Interesting. Nitro gloves, usually allergy masks, rubbing alcohol, disinfectant webs. Okay. Bleach, hoodie jacket, jogger pants. <laughs> this just sounds like he's a fucking hitman or some shit. I mean, he's also bald like, uh, was it Agent 47 or whatever the hell his name is from the Hitman games? <clears throat> Cindy's opening hours, hydrogen peroxide safe on cotton clothes, pay me login portal. So that's nothing bad. Pictures, that's bad. Bread, milk, eggs, apple juice, cheese. That's not bad. So the gun with blood is interesting. Client 23X. You still offer pet sitting? I do, yes. Do you have a job? Yes, cash. You want them held or do you want them gone? I want them gone. Get the park fresh hands. We want to be late for it. Okay. Yeah, this guy's a fucking hitman. This dude is not who Tim Lambis is called, but he probably should have if he wanted the job done properly and not get thrown in jail. Need new blank weapons. No serials, no paperwork. What do you have? Yep, nope, nope. This dude's fucked. Goodbye. You are getting fucking scanned. See you later. Check the cams. OK. 
Okay, get out of here. Do, 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 do. Let's go and check for lights. Why is Twitch saying welcome to the chat room? I've been here. Did someone just join? I don't know, I'm still really new to the whole Twitch realm of things, so. If I ask dumb questions, please bear with me. Live internet, so that's good. David Reddit Man. Last night I was in my backyard. I tried to save the clothes on the line from getting wet from the rain, and I saw Reddit Man next door kicking a human shaped black plastic bag and dragged it to the house. I want to believe the sleeping pills I took last night had me hallucinating the whole sequence, but I can't be sure. The thing is, David is a good guy, but I swear to gentle Jesus that I saw a body bag last night. It could have been nothing, but you never know. I do not want to see the implications that it can bring, so please check it out. Fine. The male, brown, unknown eye color. Uh, weight is unknown, height is unknown, age is unknown, and the internet just went out. Let me check the cams. Dude, at some point, I'm gonna end up catching him running around, and I don't know how, but I will. Maybe he doesn't start doing that until night four, and I'm just not good enough to get to night four yet. Right, no one's doing the sketchy shit here. Just the light was off. Let's see, there's usually if one light's out, then there's gonna be a second. Huh, maybe not. That's fine. Whatever. Let's get back to the report. Alright, so uh male brown. Yeah, that's all we have. Oh, I forgot to... God damn it. I forgot to redo the router. Where are you, chat? Come on, guys. <laughs> Do a quick double check of the cams. Right. He's definitely not there now. He could have been earlier, for all I fucking know. Do a quick... Oh, you know what it was? Because that one light went out and it totally got my mind into a scary place. I forgot why I was back here in the first place. Come on, I'm pressing you. There we go. Beer break. <clears throat> Come on, turn green. Thank you. I have work to do. Uh, no creepy tanner this time in the corner. That's nice. Yeah, okay. No lights are off at the moment. Great. <clears throat> Try it again. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we know he is male with brown hair. Those are footsteps I just heard. And I don't know how I'm able to find this guy. 54 results. <gasps> ah! Get out! Out! This damn power breaker. Oh no! I need to flip the breaker in the file room closet. Oh! Oh! No! No! Oh god! Oh no! Shut up, Kevin! Oh god! 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 Is everything up and okay here? Like it? Oh my god! Thank you for the follow, that scared the piss out of me. Alright. Okay, so I must have scared him away, because if he... He must have stopped right in the last flash. Because otherwise, he would have been... He would have been right in there next to me, so... Anywho. We're gonna find Reddit Man. Reddit Man. You know, I didn't like that sound I just heard either, so... I'm super paranoid at this point in this fucking game, so I'm gonna go check to make sure that this asshole isn't trying to break into my house and kidnap me. Because I know even though I just checked... Alright, we good. Oh, your friend just got you this game? How much have you played of it? Oh my god!
And I gotta go check again, because another goddamn light went out. As I walked into the fucking room. Alright, it's not there. So that must have just been a malfunction with the lights again. That's fine. That does happen. I haven't checked the cams in a while. Okay, we're good. Oh, yeah. Well, enjoy watching me freak out at your expense. <laughs> uh... They've got me quite a few times already. Um, so let's see, I just added him in. So let's get rid of that. We'll look for David Reddit Men. Did you know my birthday's in seven days? Nobody cares. I'm still glad to be starting work as a hairdresser and have a job. Nothing. Debit. Police records. Nothing. Hair palace. Hairbrush. Die, die, die. D-Y-E, not D-I-E. Baked beans and bread. Nice. Alright, we're going to the phone. I had single player. Oh, and happy birthday. Well, it's not my birthday. It was that it's this uh, David Rettman's birthday. <laughs> There we go. Search history. Good shows to watch. PNC how to get gold, platinum, missing a gold opportunity in life. Okay, we're uh, hair cutting, hair cutting, hair cutting, hair cutting. Hair saloon. Uh, bro, the mannequin was out in the rain and your shitty plastic bag had a huge hole. <laughs> so yeah, that obviously didn't look good. And you went online playing it just. Uh, to, Join the Doi Doors Cord server. <laughs> yeah, no, this dude's fine. He didn't do anything. We're gonna shred that report. There was a mannequin that was in there. What sound? Oh. Doctor jump scares. <laughs> uh thanks, Kevin, for clipping. Uh let's check the cams. Make sure that son of a bitch isn't creeping through my house again. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go search for lights. Alright, those are good. No creeping around the corner. He wasn't on cams. Good, good, good. Alright. Let's go to another report. What's, uh, what, what do we got for time here? It's about 12.30. Let's go check one more time. Okay, uh, we've got one more to reach quota. Well, chilling outside the liquor store, I saw a man's car speeding down Kelly Road to turn to Sigley Avenue. I watched as he ran a red light, nearly hit a person exiting their vehicle, and hopped to curb as he turned into Sigley. Sigley one got hurt, but even after the near collision, he continued moving at a high rate of speed. I think I could hear his tire screech because he made another turn or two in the distance. What could possibly be going on where you disregard human life in your efforts to be on time to something by speeding? Seriously, this guy could have killed someone going that fast. The car is basically a two-ton bullet. Yeah, we get it, we get it, we get it. So we got a male, we've got blonde hair, we've got brown eyes, 35 to 40. Apparently we have a height even though he's sitting down. Uh, 215, so somewhere between there, and let's search. Oh, he's like one. Nice! Daniel Reed. Oh yeah, he looks like a Chad. <clears throat> Daniel Reed. But it wasn't Radcliffe. No results found. He's got nothing on social media. No police reports. Cindy's Burgers. He bought a grilled chicken sandwich. Medical supplies. Regular strength antacid. Okay. Rockin' Donuts. Two large coffees. And a Target. Uh, milk. And ice cream. So this dude's either really smart, or he's super innocent. Can pregnant women eat nuts? What fruits are best for pregnant women? Sorry.com. Where is Sri Lanka? Can pregnant women have copy moderation? You eat baby names. What do you gain baby names? Movie baby names. Pictures. 
Uh, that's cute. Knocked a woman up. Eddie! We're not gonna figure out the I didn't have time to grab one of the way in. Yeah, I made up one of David Close. I had to start sucking mass. Cash was either I'm gonna kill her one of these days. <laughs> that guy, I saw me written on the schedule. It's just a piece of work. Sap. Maybe better if you have cravings. Huh? Yeah, of course, babe. Twins. Kill her. I'll go now. So it's all the things that he bought was for his wife. Miss this or anything, I'll be there. Val, I need to leave work. Is there anything? I should think it's kind of having a fucking baby. Yeah, no, this dude is. That's why he was fucking speeding. I mean, he's still an idiot for speeding, but he's not trying to kill anybody. Alright. Real quick, let's check them cams. Jump scare? Nope. Go check for them lights. It's been far too quiet. I am expecting a light to be off. Oh, there's a light. Question is, there's no kidnapper. Is he at another window? No, not at that one. This one? No creepy corner action there. No, no death. I'll check cams once more, and then we'll get back to work on this one, on this new report. Okay, yang, 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 yang. Okay, all right. I've noticed a strange man following a young woman home for the past week. Call it coincidence. This guy is always out walking really late around the neighborhood. It looks like he was one of those. Well, if it watches the tracks, how many steps you take per day. I know it reminds you when you haven't met your exercise quota. It could be why he's out walking when most people are inside for the night. The woman I saw last night entered her home, and the man waited in the distance, jogging place to watch. One of those agent spy movies, except when you talk. Just watch the whole idea of that being cool. It's so dumb. All those things have a ton of features, but the timing was weird. I felt like he was taking notes on the woman's actions. Okay. 35 to 50. Six foot. He is 235. So 225 to 250. Male. Red hair. Blue eyes. What? 35 to 50. Six foot tall. 225 to 250. Male. Red. Blue. Huh. Let me get rid of the height for a second. What the fuck? Get rid of that. Male, 43, yep. 6 foot 2, sure. 219, yeah, close enough. Blue and red. Blue eyes, red hair. I think this is our boy. Jimmy Shaw. Nothing on Social Spy. Any police records? No. Clean shave, head massage. Black t shirt, black hoodie, black running sneakers. Runaway to Victoria's Sporting Goods. Gas, bottle of spring water. Diced pork, salami, whole wheat bread, milk. Composite, drip free, cock gun, all purpose cock. Haha! <laughs> Plumber's putty, multi-use duct tape. Eh, doesn't sound like anything crazy. To the phone. All right, search history. How to be discreet? Dark alleyways in town. Wrist watches. Plumber's plumber. Go away. How to make it with your girlfriend, where to buy dark clothing near me, how to get back together with your girlfriend. Uh, dark alleyways in town is kind of sketchy, but we'll see. There's a dark alleyway. That was a light. I just heard a light. I'm going to check the cams real quick, make sure that no one is approaching. Okay. I definitely heard... Oh, shit! Double light, double light. No one here at this one. Oh, shit. I fucking heard it, though. I caught it. Oh, 
All right. No creepiness. No death. I also did not see the kidnapper, so I don't think he was. I I, I think I just caught it too early, which is good. Let me check cams one more time. So I just sat back down. All right, we're good. Again, there's alleyways. Uh, I don't know what the fuck that is. Probably a mixer. Looks like something disgusting. Uh, text combos. My number one girl. Jim, I told you not to do that. She can't. She can't. Just mean you can sock my home. I know. I know. I just said just always said no one should be there. Was walking around. Working with. Oh boy. Some gas station. Oh, gross. Potential target. Oh my god. Okay, so that's evidence. I kind of sure thought I heard someone nearby knocked her out and ran. Yeah, I know this dude's fucking super sketchy. Check him out. Nice. Alright, we've reached our quota. Plus one, actually, which is good. Nothing on cams. Let's go check around for lights again. I think we have four out of seven for the night. So a little over halfway there. I don't know what time it is though. I didn't check the time. All right, cool. No creeper. All right. Internet's still up and running. Down. It's 3.27. We might be able to get one more done here. And a new neighbor moved in yesterday. And she's crazy. I thought at first she was doing some late renovating remodeling at the home. She's busting holes in walls, turning floor. It sounds like a construction, but it looks like it's just with her. Back to this. My family lives in the home. It's a place. That's what they say. They're going to say that I should have let Okay, so it doesn't really tell us much. 40 to 45. Height is 5 foot 6. Weight is 150. Uh, it is female. Black hair color. Blue eyes. We got it. the roads. Okay. Um, Altaria? I don't even know how to pronounce that name. Altaria? Maybe? I don't know. So, my dog could not scare the shit of me. That'd be awesome. Loki's hardware sledgehammer, shovel, hammer, and chisel. I don't, not necessarily anything bad there. Check the lease records. We got nothing. Let's go to the phone. Only got 12 minutes left in game time. I'm gonna make this quick. And the internet goes down. You son of a bitch. Well, there goes that. There's no fucking way that that's gonna turn out in my favor. Better go check all the lights really quick because the night's about to end. And I'd rather not die on my sleep before night three. We're gonna insta killed for that matter. Alright, cool. Reset the modem. Tater, shut the fuck up. I should get some rest. Come on. No whammies. Yes! Night three, baby! So, for those who joined late, uh, this is the farthest I always get, and I never get further. Um. The last run was really good, and then I got insta-killed at the end of the hallway. I didn't even get to the computer in time. Um, that has been a glitch in the past, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I don't like that at all. Okay. Light on. Ooh, ooh, that was already locked. All right. And this one is now locked. And I'm just gonna check the two other windows next to the desk. Now they're gonna be locked. Close and locked. All right, let's get to work. We have to get three done again tonight for quota. Okay. 
Numero uno. Robbie Linden. My neighbors told me they saw three to four men and one woman enter 134 Hope Street. After about half an hour, they heard screams and moans coming from inside the house. The sounds persisted for about four hours on and off before things finally quieted down. As the group exited the residence, neighbors saw the woman wearing a hat, sent us up to hide her identity or possibly even some marks that were created by the men inside the house. There's one thing that gets me heated. It's men who think it's okay to hit women. I agree. If what I think happened in fact did, I want those involved charged, and I bet you would want the same. Okay. Age. Don't know. Height. Don't know. Weight. Don't know. Gender. Man. Hair. Brown. Eye color is hazel. Robbie Linden. Where are you? Oh, right there. Right? No alias. Robbie Linden. Excuse me. Why are the windows open? Uh, she leaves them open during the day, I guess. Let's see what the greatest girl. Happy anniversary, Jennifer. Oh, look at that. They got engaged. That's cute. Debit card. Police records. No police record. Diamonds. Oh, there's the engagement ring. And you got some gallons of gas. So, all right, cool. So, at this point... I don't, I don't, I mean, there's something in the phone that tells me otherwise, but it sounds like they probably just had a party. Ooh, that was close. I couldn't find it again. How much is found on the engagement ring? Steamers, tap house menu, accept versus accept. Yorkshire Terriers, directions to Mick and Marge's. Okay, pictures. Nice. Ooh, very nice ring. Uh, playing violin and recording it. Text convos, David Phillips. So you're still cool with us using your house this Friday night? As cool with it as I can be, bro. Thanks for really doing me a solid. Independent hard films, my best friends. That's just the car, okay. Yeah, so they, someone else is at the house recording some shit. So this is a shred job for sure. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Check the cams. Yeah, nothing. Go check the lights. Yeah, my favorite with some of those rooms in the beginning of each night is like the doors closed, the windows wide fucking open, and the lights off. It's like, you're, like, what are you doing? Just kind of seems like you're asking for it. Like, hey, come on in. All right. We have Bethany Hensley. I nearly blacked out, I nearly blacked out of the party last night. On the way out, I walked down the alleyway to get to my buddy's car, which is parked far away since the parking lots were all taken up. Super drunk and everything was a little bit blurry, but I swore I saw a woman talking while dragging a large bag and shoved in the bo in the back of her van. I could see the pack moving and making noises. They violently slammed the door shut. I was sure it would have been, I would have awoken half the neighborhood, but they quickly got it in the van and drove away. I'm not accusing anybody, but she did sound like Beth Hensley from down the street. Okay. So we got definitely got a female. We've got blonde hair, unsure of the eye color. Everything else is unknown. Looking for Bethany Hensley. Uh, right there. Uh, she looks like a killer. Ah. Hensley, copy, search. What's that? Any police records? Nope. 2020, I don't have a New Year's resolution this year unlike everybody else, but I'm sure it's going to be a good year. Well, you were wrong. <laughs> Apparently World War 3 is about to happen. LOL, I swear I'll be killed by some uncontrollable beast before that. So you're calling this dog who wouldn't stop fighting. Now they are going to put her down. I am depressed for the rest of the day. Goddamn, this year keeps looking grimmer. I wonder what's coming this month. <laughs> Damn, girl. Buy some, bought some band-aids, pancakes, and milk. Shut up, Mr. Owl. Let's go check the phone. No, I, no, no, no. I'm not correcting that. That had like six seconds. I'm not fucking doing that. Uh, Timmy used to do a casual playthrough where he leaves all the windows open. I would. In, it's insta death, man. I would be a control specialist. Are Derm's pancakes good? Maps? Should I get better video quality in an hour or two? Why does 1080p look so shit? <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah! Alright, she looks to take pictures of animals. Ben. Eh, baby, we're going to want to milk. Here's a Sure, I sure can. Thanks. We just escaped a huge bloody pill on Amazon. So, how was your day? I mean, how, how was your yesterday? Ha ha ha. 
Uh, yeah, there's there's nothing here. There's just nothing. Yep, that's the right call. All right, cams. I don't like this. I do not like this one fucking bit. Fuck! Oh! oh. Are you fucking kidding me? He must have snuck through while I, before I checked cams. Oh. Hold on, I gotta turn down the volume on this. See, I, I can't stand how this theme song is so loud. And I turned the volume down in my headset, but apparently it's still gonna blast through to you guys, so. Uh, yeah, headset warning, sorry. Alright, turn that down. Alright, work. Um. Yeah, that sucked. <laughs> uh, so I guess then, Night 3 is the end-all, be-all, like, it's gonna be rough. Like, Nights 1 and 2 are just making sure you know the basics from what I'm gathering. However, Night 3 is when they start to turn it up, so... Um, I, I really wish there was some sort of audio cue to know when Tanner is approaching the house, because that's how you stop him. Um, <laughs> it scared me too. <laughs> uh, problem is, is that if you don't catch him as he's running in and flashing with the lights, he gets right in. And he does exactly what just happened there. So who knows how long he was standing there for either. So, anywho. Uh, who the hell is calling me? If it's not, yeah, you know, it's probably a proxy call. Stupid. Oh boy. Let me um let me see if I can share Chrome instead of scrutinized. Because uh, I'm still uh, very new to Twitch, so Oh you clipped on accident? Oh well, good. <laughs> How do I change Oh, change caption. Let's do full screen application, I guess. Oh no, entire screen monitor. That's easy. Okay. Uh, Alright. I'm gonna exit out of here real quick. Let's go. I wanna I wanna watch this clip. Uh yeah, there's there's nothing here. There's just nothing. Yep, that's the right call. Alright. Cams. I don't like this. I do not like this one fucking bit. Fuck! Oh! oh. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? He must have snuck through while I, before I checked cams. Uh, yeah, there's there. <laughs> um, I did check the other one. Yeah. This one's going to be the uh, headset. Who's phone? Real quick, I'll check the cams again. Oh my fucking god damn it! <laughs> Piece of fucking shit. What an asshole. <laughs> Doesn't that guy have like a fucking surgery to go do or some shit? Let me jump in front of the cam. Let's see what we got in this phone. <laughs> uh, and then I think... I think Kevin did another one here. Let's see, I'll check the, uh... Yeah, Talking Ish, this is the first one. I was just being done saying, oh, there's no jump scares. Check the time and he... Fuck. Fuck! God fucking damn it! Oh! Well... <laughs> So yeah, um, that's been fun. Uh, so I'm going to probably try to save those clips because they're pretty funny. Um, uh, how did you back to this thing here? There we go. All right. Um, Yeah, I'm probably going to wrap up here because the dogs are just sitting here and they keep licking my leg and scaring the shit out of me. 
Um, I don't know. I'll probably going to play this again, maybe tomorrow or something. Um, definitely not going to be playing it tonight. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's just so, I, I think what it is, is the, the audio that they throw at you, um, is super friggin' loud. So it, I, I jump at anything that's loud, uh, for sure. They all save under my profile. And then, I don't know. I don't want chat paused. Go away. Um, wait, girls, I know, I know. You can, you can eat in a second. Jesus. Um, but yeah, no, this is a solid game. I mean, I, I watched some gameplay, um, from like, what is it? Uh, da, 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 da. Corey Kenshin played it for a bit and watching him freak out to any scary game is hysterical. So I found this right. I was right after I found uh, welcome to the game two and then welcome to the game after that, which I own both of those. I've played a welcome to the game once and I got one bit of the code and I was like, ah, cool. I got one piece and then just instantaneously died after that from the breather, which is fun as hell. Um, but yeah, I have those. I haven't even started Don't Knock twice yet, and I've been playing Dead Space like halfway through that, and then Phasmophobia, I played the training mission and nearly shit myself when a ghost mesh, uh, whispered in my ear. So I've got lots of scary games I can play. Um, uh, Tree Beard and I and a bunch of others play Among Us. Uh, maybe I'll toss that on from time to time. Uh, Left for I got Left for Dead, obviously, and a bunch of other shit too. So, oh yeah, 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 Amnesia Rebirth. That's it's on my list of things to do. I gotta buy. I'm buying the Amnesia Collection because it has all the Amnesia games and the um, uh, the Penumbra games. Because I played one of the Penumbra games in like high school, and it scared the shit out of me. And I'd love to play it again, uh, along with all the other ones. But Rebirth, yeah, that's the new one, I think. Um, and then Epic Games actually had a uh, one of one of the Amnesia games was free on Epic, and I scored it before it went down. Let me go take a look what it was, because I can't remember. Okay, library. It was oh Amnesia Machine for Pigs. Um, so I grabbed that, but I haven't played it yet. Uh, Layers of Fear two I also grabbed for free. I played the first one on Xbox and. For a game that you literally cannot die in at all, scared the ever-living shit out of me. It's just like a walking simulator uh, on acid. Um, and I played, like, maybe 20 minutes of Abzu, which is, like, uh, you just, like, swimming underwater and stuff. And a great white shark showed up. I'm terrified of deep-sea animals and sharks and whatnot, so I shut that shit off. Fatal Frame 2? Hmm. Is that Epic or Steam? I'll oh, check Steam. Fatal Frame 2. No, it's not on Steam. Uh, let me check Epic, because sometimes there's stuff on Epic that doesn't exist on Steam. Fatal Frame 2. Nope, not on Epic, not on Steam. All right, itch.io is next. <laughs> oh, it came out for the PS2? Oh! So I'm probably not going to find it anywhere, really, at least online. Fatal Frame 2... There's a Fatal Frame D-Make, but I don't know if that's the same thing or not, on itch.io. I do... Do I own a PS2? No. No, I own a PS1. But I had a PS2, and I think my I let my one of my uncles borrow it at some point, and that's yeah, probably long gone now, but I don't know. Maybe I'll uh, find an emulator or something. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Fatal Frame 2, Crimson Butterfly, PC download? Oh, there's, some, there's an ISO of it. Hmm. 
Interesting. Uh, let me check. Is there any deal? Dot com in case they have that. It's one of those games where you are always scared the entire time, and then you get jump scared. Ah, <laughs> so that sounds like um, sounds like layers of fear. Because <laughs> like you're just terrified the whole time, and you're like, I don't, I don't want to play this game. I don't want to play this game. And then like a chair just comes flying at you, or you fall through a trap door into the basement, and huh. yeah, it was definitely a PS2 game. I can see that. 2003. Wow. Oh yeah, the cover is like two twin girls in in a white in white dresses. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Ninety three percent liked this video game. Japanese survival horror video game developed and published by Tecmo in two thousand three. Uh, it's an independent story with little little relation to the first title. Interesting. <clears throat> Yeah, it seems like a lot of people liked it. I'll have to look into it. Um, I'm assuming I'll find like an emulator or some shit for it. Uh, but that sounds like fun. I like scary shit. Um, but yeah. That wasn't too bad. Scrutinized, that is. Um, I wonder if I can like edit the main thingy, bobber. How do I edit? Okay. And then wallpaper. Can I put my own f wallpaper on there? Because that would be fun. Browse. I think I can. Wallpapers. Oh, yeah. Nice. So then I can do that. And then... Oh, there's a border that I have to worry about. Edit border. Let's move that to black, please. And save. I mean, that didn't really work out. It's still purple on the outside, but whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, so for the first time streaming on Twitch, this was kind of fun. I mean, everyone got to make fun of me. <laughs> uh, so I guess with... Um, if I want to get those clips, I just go to your profile, I guess, and I can save them or some shit. So I'll do that. I was recording this as well. Uh, we're almost three and a half hours in, so it's not like I'm going to post that on YouTube or something. Um, I don't even have a good video editor, but whatevs. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'll definitely either do Scrutinized again or some other games. Um, I mean, there's a ton of games I haven't even downloaded yet. Uh, I bought I bought the uh, the Bioshock trilogy with all the DLC for like eight bucks. Um, there's a bunch of itch.io games I haven't played that are like fun, quick, uh, like horror experiences. You got uh, Treebeard was telling me to watch Doki, well play Doki Doki Literature Club. I haven't even downloaded that yet, but it's sitting in there. I mean, it's it's endless list here of shit I can do. Um, and then I'm definitely not replaying Mother. That game was so fucking stressful. Um, if you haven't played Mother, highly recommend it. It's like PlayStation 1 graphics. Uh, you're the mother of two children, and there's like creatures getting around at night, and like you're having to take pills, and you're not sure if you're going crazy or if you're actually seeing this shit, and you're consistently having to like do things for the kids. It's like, I feel like I'm a mother, and this is awful. I do not want to be a mother. <laughs> Um, lots of, lots of good moments of jump scares and that shit too. Oh my God. But I think I got like, um, I think it was a neutral ending. Uh, cause there's a good ending, a neutral ending and a bad ending. And I think I was somewhere in the middle, but regardless, uh, I'm going to go ahead and kill the stream off. I'm getting my knee licked to smithereens by the dogs. So, uh, thanks for joining peeps and I'll catch you next time.